Hello, hello. Oh dear. Oh dear, I've got an echo. Let me uh, just get rid of that so I don't hear myself. Um, right, okay, cool. Um, welcome to this uh, test stream. Ah! Uh, hello, Alison. How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, this is a test stream um, just to see how things go. And um, uh, well, I haven't set anything up in Twitch, as you can see. It's all pretty sort of fake at the moment. But uh, we we'll shall see. Uh, so, um, yes, we got Captain Spitfire um, here on chat. Uh, you're more than welcome. Um, it looks like it's streaming okay. Um, I've got uh, excellent for the bitrate, so that looks good. Although it did actually stay uh, it was something else when it first started, which is a bit weird. Okay, that's good. It sounds and looks great. Um, so... Um, you could probably help me. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I don't know what the moderator tools look like. Uh, I've got the stream manager is what I've got actually up in my browser. I guess I can manage everything from there, I presume. Um, but uh, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. There's somebody in a P38 just arriving by the looks of it. Just slewing in there. I don't know who it is because we've got no labels. Um, I'm on Two Tones, um, da, 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 join FS as well, just uh, to make sure that things are good. And, um, yes, uh, who's arrived in the P38 then? That'd be Captain Spitfire. He's trying, he's driving a P38. My word. All right. Um, so, I'm. Um, let me bring Discord in as well. Uh, that's me. The modeling is not correct. Uh, okay. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so um, I think Dougal may or may not join us. I don't know. He's got PC issues again. So who knows? Um, but uh, we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to do some test flights because there's some really wacky things going on with the servers and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I want to change my intro theme for when I go proper live on Twitch. And uh, and this is really just making sure that uh, everything is working. I've got a good bit rate and stuff like that. And uh, just bedding into this new world of Twitch, really. So we'll see what's going on. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do while we're here. Um, I, I'm going to play some um, some music. I didn't set up any music tonight. God, I, I've had a, such a um, a busy day. Um, I'm sure Alison could attest to having a busy day. Um, but uh, let's just get that out there and we'll do a bit of uh, guitar. Should we do guitar? Yeah, we'll do some gentle guitar today. Well, uh, we'll start with that one. Just while I'm, uh, hopefully you can hear that. Let me just uh, see if I can hear myself. I don't know if that's actually coming out on the screen or not. Who knows? It might be. Who knows? Oh, it is. Marvellous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, we've we've got some customer training that's um, taking place next week. It's our free boot camps that we do, and. Um, you hear Silent Night. Is, the, is it Silent Night? Is that what it said it was playing? I don't think it was Silent. Do you know what? It is Silent Night. You're right. <laughs> oh, well. Just to put you in the Christmas. The Christmas mood already. 
and it's what October <laughs> so um yes yes okay right so <laughs> um right this um, I'm looking for my Xbox controller here so I'm just gonna have a a quick tour of this aeroporto um, so this is actually a Burning Blue Designs uh, White Bortham and uh, they've done a mighty fine job. If I just go up top, you'll see that um, they uh, have, have thought of everything actually that is here at White Waltham. So uh, first of all, there is this uh, industrial park over here that you can't actually get to via the airfield. You have to come in through um, a a road that actually goes down here somewhere and um, uh, there are three runways in the grass so there's two five right uh, 21 and the one over there which is uh, two nine and um, it's, it's it's really nice there's all these um, additional part airplanes that you get which I mean it really eats you frame rate I'm only getting like 21 at the moment um, over here is a load of sheds and uh, believe it or not these aeroplanes are here there is actually a uh, one of those <laughs> it looks like a tornado doesn't it and um, there is a, uh, a little private jet there uh, that I've never seen actually take off from this airfield um, but it's used in a lot of TV programs because quite often uh, you see in the car park way over there um, a load of um, broadcasting companies and TV stuff uh, and they actually have done a few um, adverts filmed here as well where people are stepping off an airplane so they needed a jet so they actually move that to a different part of the airport and, uh, and do stuff like that. Uh, the hangars are quite cool. Uh, and they've got aeroplanes in and helicopters in there. There's now a helicopter base here. Um, and that does pretty good shuttle service for those that can afford it. You can actually go and learn to fly in a, a helicopter here as well if you want to. As you can see, they're kept well out of the way compared to the uh, other parts of the airfield. And from the air, it just looks really good, you know? Quite often we drive around that road and uh, in actual fact, what I do is I come along here. There's actually, um, oops, sorry, making you feel sick here. Uh, and they probably have got it here. Over here or somewhere. So there is a mm, there is a turning point here. See this church? That's a turning point for when you're taking off out this way. They don't really want you to uh, turn after the that church, so um, because of noise abatement and stuff like that. So you, you need to turn uh, over the top of that church if you're going off in the. the northerly direction um, so here is the uh, ooh, frames frames uh, here is the car park and uh, it just looks like that and quite often I'm, I'm standing up against this uh, this fence here in awe of all these uh, pilots turning up in their posh cars well, there's not so many posh cars here today but there usually is, and um, I look across, and um, that aeroplane there with the um, RAF logos on, um, that's there as well, Royal Navy. And uh, yes, it's a really good rendition from Burning Blue Designs, £10.95. Um, I obviously got it because it's my closest airport. Um, I was about less than half a mile away from this airport but I've recently moved earlier in this this year so it's a little bit further away oh sorry 
I've speeded it up the old drone and it's a bit too fast for us, so um, and um, yeah I'm actually anticipating joining as a, um, a social member which will allow me to uh, go into the clubhouse and um, meet all the flyers and they actually did say that um, there we go it's actually called the West London Aero Club and um, just here on this patch of grass uh, they have a, uh, a Spitfire it's not actually in this model but uh, it is there and um, it's normally visited quite recently with the um, uh, memorial flight they drop in here to refuel onto displays down on the south coast so most of them are based up north so they, they get down to here refuel drop in for a cup of tea and then carry on again um, they have a, a Friday and a Wednesday club of flyers here and um, if you're fortunate enough to have Fridays off which I don't but maybe I will do <laughs> occasionally uh, and I become a social member they uh, I met one guy was I uh, standing at the fence watching one one lunchtime and uh, he was a member there and he's uh, he flies out of here and um, he said oh yeah yeah you just come down and you know, start chatting to the guys and a lot of these guys will go flying on their own but you know they always offer a seat to anybody who wants to go flying and I thought oh right <laughs> and I was there I was in that seat I'll tell you uh, so I might take that up one day so how are we going? Ah, oh, there we go. We've got a few people oh, I didn't see. I need to move this chat. I'm going to pop this chat out. And I'm going to move it so it's a bit more in my eye line. So this is all the things I'm learning with Twitch compared to um, doing that. Hello, Dougal got held up. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, you're there in chat. Right, uh, let me put the chat into the stream because you're not in the stream at the moment. So let me just do that with a bit of routing. We can put chat into broadcast. So uh, mind your P's and clues. You're now in in the stream, and uh, whatever you say is now being broadcast. So uh, good evening, um, Google. Good evening, uh, Two Cat Sir. Is the gear down? <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> We're trying, we're trying, we're trying. Um, and everything seems to be going swimmingly well at this point. You have three P's we, and two Q's. What are we flying, is it? The Warrior. Uh, I am flying the Warrior, but if you want to fly something else, you're more than welcome to. But, um... Have you got HDR turned on? It's very uh, bright. Oh, I don't. I don't know. There's very always something. Bright. Is it bright for you, Spitfire? Uh, let me check. Yes. Yeah, it's very, very bright screen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, yeah. Evening, two cats. Hola. <laughs> I'm off to a better start than you. Well, I mean, I don't know, am I? Um, at the end of the day, um, I've got none of the fancy stuff in Twitch that you guys have. God, it's now gone really dull on my screen. Um, <laughs> wow, it looks great now. <laughs> Excellent. So all <laughs> that scanning around, actually on there, it looks quite bright actually because that's not quite it looks a bit stuttery duttery on the on, on screen is it is it slow uh, I wasn't watching pan again no it seems all right all right okay oh that's interesting you actually see my um, performance overlay on there do you see my performance lay overlay on the screen as well yeah oh, yeah that's interesting um, as you can see it's really low <laughs> <laughs> what is nice about this Twitch, I've just looked and the delay is just about three seconds, I think. All right, okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, that long. It actually, doesn't seem... I don't know. Mine, mine keeps freezing on my, on my little replay thing, so I'm, I'm not sure about that. Because he's still showing the menu and that went a long time ago. But maybe no, that's... Looks, looks fine for me. Oh, okay. Maybe this... Um in window do i have to actually show that uh, 
Is video buffering you? Well, oh, hello, what does it say? It says use low latency toggle under advanced menu in settings to disable low late to disable low latency. Huh? Why would you want to disable low latency? Why would you want to do that? Yeah. Uh, I've got low latency turned on. Hmm. Ah, oh, right, okay. Ah, oh, stream's running fine. Okay, that's good. That's, that's all I wanted to know. So, um, okay. Uh, let's get going, because um, uh, this is a, a club route, because actually one of the guys that I was talking to, he said, oh yeah, what they will do on um, on Friday is they've got, they've got a breakfast club. And I said, really? What do they do? And he said, well, they get in their airplanes at, uh, at breakfast time here, and they'll fly up to Coventry, land at Coventry, have nice breakfast in Coventry, and then fly back again. I thought, oh, cool, let's do that on stream then. <laughs> That's my test flight. So, Isn't um, that what's known as the $100 burger? I think probably yes. <laughs> it probably is. So let's get in here. I'm just going to just dim that music a little bit so we can oh, I'm still hear. trying to load my sim. Okay, so... Uh, Ooh, what do we have? What do we have here? We have the Warrior, Purple Warrior, um, uh, nice little airplane. Um, if you're learning to fly, uh, you tend to start off in one of these or one of those in front, um, a Cessna. So uh, I know that um, the Flying Club at, uh, keep an eye on OBS bottom right corner box should be green, yes. Uh, we'll also give you info on how many frames missed. Oh, right, okay. In OBS. Oh yeah, I think you can left click in it and it comes up with like stats or something. In OBS. Oh yes, yes. OBS has a green block. Uh, Just be careful. You know what happens if you start pressing buttons. I'm not going to press any buttons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so look, you can see I've done the dark side. I'm actually decked out in dark. I have black trousers, black top. I have a black chair, so yeah, I'm doing the dark side. Uh, so CPU says one percent at thirty frames per second. Uh, kilobytes per second is five nine six seven six zero nine two, and, and a green block. So um, I'll send Duga a screen of what I mean. All right, okay. Can we can we bring? TC into chat. We can bring TC. TC, do you want to join the chat if you come to my uh, Discord? If, uh, yeah, if you drop oh. into Paley's Discord into the waiting room, we'll drag you into special events, matey. Is he actually... Uh, yeah, he's a member, isn't he? I don't know. Um, oh, yes, yeah. it will only be a few. He'll be preparing for his own stream, of course. I'd forgotten that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Finding a time where nobody clashes with anybody else is just becoming impossible. Yep, won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, you can jump in for a few minutes. Well, come in, at, join the waiting room, and then we'll drag you into the special events of my Discord, and we can hear your, your lovely tones in stream. <clears throat> right. So, let me get this, uh, this aeroplane off the ground. So, uh, battery and we got some good battery charge here and alternator that's good music Dynamics. stopped yeah i'll turn it down while i'm doing this okay uh, um and that now i have problems with these two panels actually in this in the fact that if i cycle through there you go tc hey, <clears throat> hello oh we got it and that was it um so I um, usually would go not for that one. Time of day we got. Uh, but uh, let's go for the standard one. There we go. Yeah, Dougal, so you can uh, direct Peely. If you look at my um, screen I'm sharing at the moment, I'll hover my mouse over where it's going to be. Two cats, you're very loud to me. 
I'm just turning it down in my ears. <laughs> I'm a loud boy, I'm sorry. <laughs> or, or just take a screenshot of that and send it to Pele, because I'll never remember that. Okay, right. Uh, Dougal, have you had your puds yet tonight? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting an and I update. Did, I didn't take a picture. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, okay, so um, I've got... Uh, let me show you the weather first of all, what we've got here. I've got uh, live weather, because it is actually... It's been a lovely day around here today. Um, and I've just moved the time back to 11.16, uh, so we're in daylight. Um, I've taken a screenshot of that to TC. Hello. Yeah, I'm just modifying one now. I've got a pilot in front oh, you, of me. Oh, you're doing one, right, okay. I don't want pilots. You've got some eyes. <laughs> Where did they come from? They oh, there, that really? happened to me. That happened to me. And as soon as I changed views, it got rid of him. If you switch to outside and then back in again, it might get rid of him. <laughs> How weird. There's some yeah. odd things happening with this update, isn't there? Um, right. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, so Who needs a pilot? Fuel pump on and nav lights on. Beacon on. Just check my mixture is doing absolutely nothing. There we go. And I check my fuel. So let's put some fuel in. Uh, Let's go to about 90%. That should be okay. Screenshot, Shen. Screenshot, Shen. Okay. And um, as I'm sure you know, Preeley, the servers are absolutely diabolical since the um, since the update. Yes. The chances of anybody are, uh, are pretty slim. But on to the left tank. Mixture. Forward. Uh, remove yoke and let's have a turnish of the key it's really strange Alison I've never seen that before since this update I, I didn't realize it was an aircraft update bug oh, 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 oh I've just moved my chat oh no I've just closed my chat uh, 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 uh. Come back, chat. All is forgiven. Um, it's a bug with the piper. Do you know I? I um. I have not had a problem with this piper at all since the update. So um, there's lots of weird things. The interesting is they put the look g g dash peely here. If I go to my outside, it's g dash not empty here. Because I forgot to change it. <laughs> um, okay. You're back in, TC. Yeah, I, I meant to kill my screen, not kill my call. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. Oh, no. Go away, person. Um, right. Okay, I'll go away then. No, Bye. not you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we'll turn the uh, skulk on to on. And uh, what else have we got down here? We'll turn those on as well. And that one doesn't work very well because it's linked to a switch and I've gotten the wrong way. Okay, right. So I think we are good to go. Um, probably don't need the fuel pump on. Now we're started. And... If I are you on the ground? Uh, I'm just circling the airport at the moment. Oh, I so... just don't see anybody. So... Okay, so I've just got my timer on here. And, I'll um, just do a flyby uh, on. And let's get going. Three zero. Uh, parking brake off. Parking brake off. No, it's connected to a button. Not that one. <laughs> well, I'm not even getting okay. my own aircraft showing up on little nav map. Where's my parking brake gone then? Am I correct in understanding that join FS is not an option at this particular moment in time? I am on join FS. Are you? Yeah. Which server are you on? Uh, two, two times. times. Okay. And I see Captain Spitfires there, but nobody else. 
I'm just joined. I'm just loading now. Okay. But I'm still not showing on my own little nav map, so I guess I've got a sim connect error. Means I'm going to have to restart my sim. Um, I'll go to tools and connect, make sh and just reconnect again. Doesn't so work for me for that for some reason. I have to restart the sim. Well, I wasn't showing on little nav map either, and I just did uh, tools connect, and it it connected me. Really. Yeah. I think I see Dougal. You won't now because I'm re <laughs> restarting. I don't know how long I'll last anyway because um, don't forget I've got a um, I've got a broken GPU. Okay. Um, it it gets to, it generally gets me to about thirty five forty five minutes before it uh, gives me a blue screen. Okay. Anybody know which button is by default linked to the parking brake? Because the button that used to be connected to my parking brake is no longer connected to my parking brake. I have no idea. I've got mine's on hardware. Well, yeah, my, that was, mine was on hardware. It was on actually uh, switch number 44 and 45. Used to be B on FSX. I have no idea what it is in this sim. Come on, come on, come on. I need to put that over that side so I can see what's going on. Um, brakes. Set parking brake. Look, 46. Ah. Okay, something else has obviously been set to it's 46, so we're going to have to do 45 instead then. And that's piezo heat, so we don't want that. Uh, 43, what we'll I have to do. Okay, validate. Oh. Go back. Thanks, Alison. Shift period. Yes. It's off now. Look at that. And it's on. It was on the button next door to it. That's the thing. And now it's, it's for some reason moved. Look, you've, green. You've, got, you've got a bus going up the runway. <laughs> yeah, I, I just noticed that the bus, <laughs> by the way, in, in real life, is, is not at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, what, what we've got in the way of wind direction here, so we do want to go off, uh, we've got 301 at 12 two knots, nine, it? 2 9, um, okay, so that's off to the left, so, uh, okay, throttle, hmm. Interesting. Are you going to move me? Feels like my parking brake's still on. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. But it's off. Ah, he's in the Piper. Tie downs and. Oh, yeah, your tie downs. Oh. Yeah. On the tablet. On your screen. On your tablet on the right. I hate that tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Good spot, TC. I might have done that a few times. <laughs> yeah, myself. you and me both. You and me both. Okay, you didn't see that. Nothing to see here. <laughs> much. How embarrassing. Oh dear. I wouldn't worry too much. You're talking to the king of gear up landings. <laughs> well, that's, that is true. I haven't done that yet. It's always the first time. Um, yeah, so uh, keyboard wise, Alison, I usually have it as control slash um, for releasing the parking brake if I don't have it mapped to a button on a particular aeroplane. And that it tends to work mighty fine on most aeroplanes. But yeah, not... I think that's just the default that she was pointing out. Yeah. Um, and um, it wasn't working for me today for some reason. Although, Dougal, I'm not holding out many hopes on a good landing this evening. I have a challenge to uh, maintain. <laughs> Where are you flying? Uh, Finland. Finland. Mm. Oh, nice. Going for the Northern Lights. Touring the world in a DC-6. Always good fun. Oh. So here's runway 29. Can you remind me again for time and weather? Uh, well, time must have moved on. Live weather. Uh, Live 11, weather, okay. 11.25. Uh, Alison, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 11.25. And uh, we probably need to do flaps one here. So what's the uh, luxurious plan for this evening then, uh, Mr. Peely? Uh, Mr. Peely, so we're... Um, oh, gosh, I've got my eyes back. 
so uh, the plan is uh, <laughs> that's scary <laughs> is to fly from here uh, up to uh, Coventry um, via the um, uh, VOR at Daventry ETY uh, and I actually was going to try and fly it with the instruments um, rather than the, the GPS but um, we might give that a miss um, but we'll we'll fly via the, that particular VOR and then we'll land at Coventry which is uh, Echo Golf Bravo Echo it's not very far um, then we'll go across to Hollington uh, VOR and then we're going all the way across to uh, the Brecon Beacons VOR and then landing in Cardiff and if people have had enough then we'll quit a day it was a good test for the stream and if they have one more we'll fly back to white Walsham from cardiff which is be straight down the m4 so um, you, yeah. you may be able to fix that eye thingy by going onto the tablet and taking out the pilot because i think you've got pilot and co-pilot option in the tablet uh, yeah co-pilot's disabled so you can take pilot out as well i think uh, no. no 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 it's blank it's grayed out well, I don't. I don't even see a pilot option. I just see co-pilot disabled. Yeah. The, the um. Oh, that's interesting. I've got pilot on mine, but it's grayed out, so you can't can't select it. Oh. There must be different versions of this. How strange. How weird. Yeah. Have I, have I missed an update? It's more likely that I have. I should think. Oh. Okay. Hello. Where are you going, mate? Get out of it. Quick runway inspection being done. God, you see, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Rightio, off we go. Right for me. Oh, look, brakes are on again. Quick, Dougal, jump on the wing. <laughs> I'm stuck amongst these buildings. I can't get out of the buildings. Where's the bloody runway? Oh, whoops, <laughs> sorry. It's all right, I've put it as an over 18 stream. Technically, it's in a certain book, so technically it's not swearing. Oh, that was a, a sideways Spitfire. Oh, we, of course, yes, that's Join FS. Oh, I see somebody shooting down the runway, so I guess that's you. Yes, that'd be me. Um, nice well, at least about, you're going in a straight line. Uh, uh, a nice thing about the Piper is there's no gear up because there isn't. It's a fixed gear. I can see a Spitfire going backwards. Let's <laughs> have a look. Uh, behind. Uh, I don't see you anywhere. I see you in um, Join FS, but I do not see you anywhere. I think Dougal's just on the rotate. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, yeah I used Dirt zero 03 just to get in the air. Should get a better FPS at this point. And uh, bear in mind, I may just completely vanish from both chat and in the air if when I because I don't get a CTD, I get a blue screen of death. Oh, that's that's painful. So this is the railway line down here. This very long straight um, bit that you see in here that goes out to uh, where does that go out to? Music. Um, yes, it doesn't go out to music. It goes out to um, <laughs> um, it goes out to somewhere else. It goes out to um... why am I? I find it so hard to remember where that goes to. It goes to Reading, and then out. Uh, nice golf course, this one down here. I forget what it's called. Um, it will come to me. It's got a funny name. Um, um. Something Royal. We're going up north to Daventry, did you say? Uh, we are, yes. I do need to hang a, hang a right. It's very chilled out music tonight, I don't know why. Oh, I see, I see a plane below there, look. That's a Spitfire. So I'm just coming back towards the Magenta line. 
still climbing. I didn't really want to be that high. Because um, there's actually a 1500... Um, there's actually a 1500 uh, feet limit. Out of what... Oh, is, are we in controlled airspace here, are we? Uh, just on the... Uh, it's just on the cusp of Heathrow. So okay. they have a 1500 feet... I'm too high then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoops. They do have a 1500 <laughs> feet uh, limit. Um, as we go up this route. Um, and if only I had VFR maps, I could show you. Oh, well, yeah, I can see in Little Lavmer. We're practically on the ILS. And um, uh, one of the things about the Heathrow expansion, uh, because of where the expansion is going to be for that third runway, it might actually close the doors of White Waltham because they'll be flying straight over the top. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is not going to be great for that club, and they might have to... Um, now that's a really popular field as well. It is, yes. Yeah. And uh, even I've heard of White Waltham. I mean, come on. Yes. And a a a, a certain Grand Tour person. Um, I don't know if he still has his aeroplane here, but um, James May has an aeroplane oh, that he used to course. at least yeah. used to have at White Waltham. Well, I don't know if he still has it or is he's moved it. Uh, to one of the uh, London airfields, but uh, he certainly had it here for a period of time. Now let's see if we can actually do some uh, old school flying here. Eek, my autopilot's not working. I'm cutting the treetops. Uh, well, I need to turn this on. I don't want the AV off on. Uh, I should have turned that to Alt. Have you noticed oh, the, the oh. trim is nowhere near as sensitive as it was since the update? Yes, I have noticed it is nowhere near. I don't know whether that's good or bad. I think they've gone too far the other way now. Yes, I think you're right. I think it has gone uh, too far the other way. Is it me or, or have we got a strong wing to the left? Uh, we've got 19 knots on our nose. Because I'm basically crabbing next to you. Well, not anymore, but I don't know if it's joint FS or... Oh, this person it, it, it's, it's, if, my head in. If it's other aircraft that you're seeing sideways, then yes, it's joint FS that's the problem. And I don't know how or why, but that's much worse since yesterday's update of the sim. Uh, so 116.4... 116.4... I can only assume it's the way that the sim is interpreting the data from Join FS. We should uh, drag PV up into DC6 at some point. <laughs> I've got the DC6. Uh, having it and flying it are two different things. <laughs> That's why I said I've got the DC6. Oh uh, dear. Oh, just give, you give been... me an afternoon with PV and I'll, I'll get him sorted. Yeah. DC. Have you been able to engage um, nav mode with this? Because it seems that it's broken for just about every aircraft for me. Um, I have yet to enable that. Oh, for goodness sake. Staff question, Dougal. You have got it set to... Yes. ...on the CDA to GPS and whatnot. Yes, yep. Have you done the select waypoint or invert double invert trick? No. Never had to before. Yeah, never had to before this update. Uh, trick is to see if you are having it. Is to go into your flight plan, and it will show it will show you that you're your first part of the leg, but it'll be trying to do the final part of the leg, and that's what makes it spin. Oh, this is really flipping annoying. This person keep. Coming yeah. back into yeah. my cockpit. I had the same issue with um, one of the jets that got released. What was it? The F-14. Yeah, keeps I mean, putting I mean, a pilot in. Uh, it's every time you zoom in or zoom out on your cockpit view. Oh, Matavish, you're there, over there on the right. Look at that. Well, that means the servers are on briefly. 
activated. Yeah, see, I don't see anybody. Oh, I, actually, I see somebody way off in the distance. I don't see, uh, I don't see Paleo Spitfire. Yeah, but, mine, mine hasn't been working whatsoever. No, no. I had a long, long discussion with several people about this earlier today. I remember that one. There was even more after that. <laughs> Is the weather broken as well? Because I'm getting f nearly 40 knots to the left. Good God, really? Yeah. I've got 20 on live weather. Yeah. Um, let me reset mine. I don't know Ooh. what's happening. 19 knots. 20 knots from 312. Sorry, it is very windy, but... Although it was not, windy today, I would say that. Wasn't, not 40 knots, though. No. Right, I'm concentrating at the minute. That's, that's what you can hear, that's why it's so quiet. Cue the suspense field music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't like the autopilot on this plane. Which one you in? The um, warrior. Uh, see, I haven't used the warrior, I've only got the uh, turbo. It's fine, the autopilot's fine, providing you fly it from inside the cockpit, but when you start trying to use the, um, the SATEC equipment, it clashes. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I used the honeycomb for that, and uh, no real problem. Yeah, I think the honeycomb's fine with it, I think it's just the SATEC one that's the problem. I hadn't loaded uh, my spad next, so I can use my radio panel. So I'm having to fiddle around with nubs and buttons over here. And that in itself is bizarre as well, TC. Both me and Peely are using that same radio panel, the SATEC radio panel. He has to use the spad drivers to get his to work. Really? Mine work, yeah. Yep. Makes no sense at all, does it? Yeah, because I've got the, um, the radio panel, not the, the smart nav one. And yeah. I just downloaded the Logitech ones and boom, not a problem. Right. Yeah, not for me. I tried it. I've had it working. I think after the first update, it worked. When it initially didn't work, it worked after the first update. Then the second update came and it broke it. And I've never been able to get it to work again since without using Spadnex. Very, very How strange. strange very strange and I've done complete Windows reinstalls and fresh sim installs since then oh it's so nice not having that lag that we're used to what a difference on Twitch well that's great yeah uh, I think we're down to about two seconds I don't know about anybody else but that two second delay well that's great that's good, the good stuff. We've got some very, very chilled guitar music going on here now. So, uh, my, my um, navigational aid here, is that not supposed to uh, line up? Ah uh, yes, the, the, the ever wondering what's going on, there's always an <laughs> offset between your actual VOR straight line and your nav. It's always off to one side. When you zoom out, it lines up. When you zoom in, you're a good nautical mile to the left or the right of it. I just gave up trying to sit on the magenta and I just used the, the steam gauge stuff. Yes. Because the moment you zoom in, it shows the big difference. But if you zoom all the way out on your GPS screen, it shows yeah. you spot on the magenta. It would help if I actually had. Uh, so three three. That's going to be three four three five. So three four four. I should be heading straight for the beacon then. See, I cheat. I still have my tool tips on, so when I scroll it, it tells me the exact heading ah. by the numbers. Yeah, what awesome. else is useful, um, Alien? Awesome. I don't know whether you've changed a setting or it's a Twitch thing, is that we can see your mouse. 
normally I can't see your mouse oh, cursor. That's interesting. Uh, mm. No, I, we're probably a Twitch thing then. Uh, this is this is this is pleasant. Captain Spitfire, where are you? I'm on your left. In your oh, there you go. Stomach. In your P38. Lot. Well, I meant to be in a spit, but <laughs> you know what Joint FS is like. Yeah, I can see two of you coming up below see, I, me. I, I, is is I, that I, you I, below me, Spit? Uh, no, I'm near next to Peely. I must be. Oh, unless it's you two, I'm seeing below me, close together. So, generally oh, speaking, yeah, I would see him as a spit cloaked in a P38. Yeah. But now I just see him as a P38. <laughs> so, that's fantastic. That, that's the Join FS version. At least it's the same developer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, go on in, uh, two cats. I was going to say, unfortunately, I must uh, leave you, leave, uh, leave you, gentlemen, be, and wish you a safe flight. I must go to do my thing now. Okay. Okay. We will no doubt catch you a bit later on. Yes, yours. indeed. Yeah. No, it's have, uh, have fun and uh, enjoy your first Twitch stream, Peely. Uh, well, I'm trying to. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Thanks very much. See you later. See you later. Later. See, there's a label behind us um, called Two Tone Gamer. That's, Is there um, really? Bit of a bit of a play on words, I think. There. <laughs> Two tone gamer. Oh, and he's oh, just blinked out. For me. He was there, and then he was. There wasn't. he is. There, there he is. Oh, gone. He, he disappeared for you as well. So, um, hand flying this, I should be able to go down here and turn on my autopilot, I believe. So, if I'd hit nav and then hit on. It should not do this. Oh, I don't know. If it comes back, it's doing a good job. Now, steady. What's it going to do? It's it's twitching. Now, how am I going to find out my distance? Ah, there it is. Look, distance 22 nautical miles to Coventry. No, Daventry, that is. Daventry, yeah. Okay, and once we get to Daventry, we're going to be heading towards EGBE, Echo Golf Bravo Echo, and that's going to be uh, from the Daventry uh, VOR, we're going to be out on a course of 311, so we'll see that's will switch out from uh, to to from and uh, we'll head out on a new heading of uh, 311 so we'll set up our heading except if the wind stays like this we're, <laughs> we're gonna be here till this time tomorrow uh, 21 knots 21, 21 knot headwinds I'm hitting 30 yeah. 22 uh, that's strange that you're getting 30s didn't they say it was broken I, I don't remember. Well, we've had strong no, winds today. Something. I mean, this is live weather, so we've had strong winds. Uh, Captain Spitfire, yeah. in honour of you joining us for the stream this evening, I have something for you. <laughs> I don't know if oh. you can see that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. And it is... It's one of my favourites. So we have this one. And, um, uh, Peely, I don't know if it's just my end. I know I sometimes have issues, but your your Twitch stream audio sounds much, much quieter than your Discord audio. Oh, Dougal. <laughs> How about you, Spitfire? Slightly, but not to an extent that it's going to be okay. right. drastic, shall we say. But he's slightly. You think it's I like... have, I have to have the stream turned right up to max if I want to hear it is at that the same kind of levels. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did. Yeah. I did actually have my mic turned down a shade more than I have 
normally and I'm just trying to reposition my arm so it's a bit closer without actually appearing in shot the nav mode is definitely not working for me so I'm going back to heading ah that's sad because mine's actually keeping on the um, oh, yeah. on the crosses quite nicely I've got a V-lock here I've got it tuned in here it's tuned in over there and uh, we're on nav mode down there so that's all pretty good. I'm going to get off this music. Let's um, let's get something a bit more jolly. Uh, uh, guitar grooves. What was that one? Let's try this. Oh, funky! Thanks, two cats. That's probably an old message. Actually, I probably yeah. need to put in there. Uh, can I actually put in... Uh... There used to be a way. Uh, 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 uh. So there should be, uh, well actually no, probably uh, show mod icons, I think that's a good one to turn on. Chat appearance. Let's turn it up a shade. Readable colours. Timestamp for messages, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Excellent. That, that way I, I know how late I am responding to somebody in chat. Actually, do, do you see the timestamps in chat as well? Um, no, mine are turned off on this. I'm not in... Um, neither am I in um, mod mode either. Okay. Um, there's a button somewhere to put me in mod mode, but I can't remember where it is. All right, we're approaching this beacon. So I'm going to dial in 311 on my heading control. Uh, I think if I just add the word moderate to the address. It must be it. about 311 there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to switch. When we get closer to the beacon, we will switch uh, to heading mode. Uh, and then we'll set up. Why has it suddenly just decided to do that when I turn off my yoke? That's weird, isn't it? That's the pressure's changed outside. Okay. Barometer's changed. Oh yeah, so it has. Wow. Um, so it took a dive and now it's, it's doing a, a bit of a climb again. Yeah, I just hit B and um, over 300 foot yeah. difference on the yeah. altitude. It doesn't really hold an altitude though. No, well, it so, holds whatever you set it to, doesn't it? Um, well, what what you currently are at is what yeah. I, I guess. So let me just uh, go back to 1500 feet. So we've got uh, 10 nautical miles to the beacon. So let's hold that up there. Do a bit of a lot of trimming just to hold that. You're still getting 30 knots, bit fine. Uh, I'm getting 19 now. Okay, that's because that's about yeah. what it is. It's fluctuating between 19 and 21. Yeah, I've got a, I've got 12, 13 
on my screen. It's just that uh, both of you are sh going sideways. Yeah. It could the be worse. We could, we could be going backwards, so it could be worse. Oh, I don't see you again. Little nav map as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think what's happening is that is that whatever data is being exported from Microsoft, if I would switch some things around, so tools like Sim Connect and stuff like that, or anything that uses Sim Connect, is now interpreting things wrongly. That's the only thing I can think of. And on the right of us, we've got Silverstone Racetrack. Uh, oh, and I still haven't downloaded that new add-on for it either. Have you? Oh, no. Uh, I haven't. Uh, one of the Tuto Murphy guys has just done has just released his first scenery at Silverstone. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, is that it? Is that the new scenery? No. Yeah. Oh, that's default, is it? That's default. That's default. Okay. It looks all right, doesn't it? Even for default. I mean, it's recognisable as Silverstone, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, it'd be good if they had the proper standing. But yeah, that'd be good scenery to... We'll have to find out where that's gone. I would imagine it will be on flightsim.to, but the, the, no doubt the link, direct link, will probably be on the Two-Tone Murphy website. Yeah. So, that must be you over there somewhere that I just saw. Over there. Dugal, you are over here behind me. And at that distance, you, you know, you're looking like you're coming towards me, so that's good. I don't see you in my sim at all. Well, that's sad. Yeah, it's very sad. <laughs> that's sad. I'm okay. really disappointed, to be honest, with what Microsoft have done. Or more to the point, what they haven't done. Well, why have why they actually done in this latest update? That's the thing. Well, they have, to be fair, they have fixed quite a lot of stuff. They, you know, they have made a lot of changes. Um, I mean, the, the LOD change, I mean, the thing is, is that my frame rate, right, according to this, is 23 and 16, all right, which it doesn't feel like that for some reason. I don't know why it's that, because it wasn't that earlier. I was getting like 40. Are you so, still right up at 400 for the... Um, yes. On the slider, yeah. We but, see that, that that's designed for the 3090 cards. Yes. However, I was flying today... Was I flying today? No, yesterday uh, with the slider at 400 and doing this route and I was at 40. So yeah. I can yeah. only think it might be Twitch. Yeah, you're streaming as well now, aren't you? So yeah. It's going to be taking some resources. So that's the only thing I can think it would be. Um, which is a... See, look, I've closed the Twitch window. That's gone up a few FPS already. Um, so that's odd. But that server thing... I was really, really hoping that, that yesterday's announcements were going to be good news, that they were addressing it. But what's become clear about, you know, I was thinking, well, it's got to be fixed for them to do the Reno Air Races, but it hasn't. That's going to be on a completely separate gaming server. Oh, is it? Yep. Ah, interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go into heading mode because we are going off to a... Well, we're under what, two nautical miles. I'll get let it get to one, and then we'll go to heading mode. So two nautical miles, one nautical mile. Let's switch to heading mode. We'll do the turn. We'll now set our new course up here to three one. One, so that must be three two, that must be three one, so that must be there. And what we should do as as we pass this beacon is that this should flick 
we probably turned a little bit too early according to the little nav map, but there we go, from and we're now pop it into nav mode again and we want to take the 311 radial out so we're gonna it's gonna go right a little bit that just proves to me I did do it a little bit early as it now tries to sort itself out so we're gonna go outbound here on 17.6 nautical miles into a 12 knot headwind could take a while to get to Coventry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. How do I see how many people are in chat? Users in chat? Five. Uh, Which admittedly isn't many, but I was what I was just about to say to you before that happened, and I guess it's just because it's what I'm now more used to, but seeing you up on screen with all the Twitch gubbins behind you is a bit like, it feels a bit like you've come home. Oh, does it? It feels like it's good. Yeah, for me it does. Oh. It just feels like you're where you're supposed to be. Oh, okay. That's me being, that's me being biased. <laughs> I feel like I've abandoned YouTube though. That's the thing. Well. And the I'm... only thing I don't like <laughs> is I can't advertise my streams like I yeah. did. Yeah. And actually, but we've the big got... upside to that is that you can be raided. Uh, well, yes, that's true. Uh, but the problem is, of course, we've got uh, two users in chat that have been very quiet, um, and two. One is stream elements, and one is uh, stream elements. So uh, we've actually only got two, <laughs> which is fine. Does it really count stream labs and stream elements? No. It does count them as users, though. Does it? Uh... Let's have a look outside. I guess it'll take a while for um, people to get used to where you are. Yeah. I, um, I DM'd a few people, but there were others who I didn't know how to get hold of, like our friend Logs, for example, yes. who normally plays with us. Yes. Well, I mean, uh, they should be on my Discord. So I did put an announcement on Discord with a link to uh, the stream. So um, that's all I can do. I, I, can, I, can, I can probably post a video on YouTube say I'll be streaming on Twitch <laughs> um, I don't know how often YouTube would check that and uh, think that that's a yeah. bit of a <laughs> yes they'll probably come running after you yes you shouldn't really be doing that um, or, or, or I could do what 320 sim does and actually stream on both you need to be a partner to do that hmm. so not gonna get I had to miss his stream today yeah, I, I, I didn't notice your absence there. No, oh, you, you, pay, you paid a visit, did you? Yeah, I did pay a visit. I said hello. And he said, hello, Pilot Peely. Another streamer joins the channel. <laughs> yeah, he's a lovely bloke. Yeah. He's a lovely, lovely bloke. He really is. So I'll stay for a bit and then... Um... Oh, I see you spit fight. Finally. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he just came tanking past me. See, I don't see you, Dougal. I don't know where. Why? Um, you're way ahead. Uh, I'm at full rental power trying to catch you. Really? I'm not going yeah. that fast, though. What am I doing? I'm doing 114. I'm doing 123 indicated. And, but so my that's going to be a slow catch-up. My ground speed is 107. Uh, okay. So my, my ground speed is 114. Okay, so while we're on route, let's do that. Starroad, I see, man. I see on your your menus up there. Get rid of that box, Peely. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be displaying that. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh, I'm going to have to do that, aren't I? And then do that. Uh, why are these things sent to try me? You might want to edit that out if you can. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, what what would be nice is if um, oh, 
too loose. I think it's insane that they make us do that at every single flight. That's why I don't use it anymore. I yeah, simply but, don't use it. To be honest, Google, all it does is take you to a page. You still have to log in. Yeah. Uh, so but that, having that, that, to do that every time you use it yeah, is wait, just ridiculous. I mean, showing that QR code, it just takes you to the page. You still have to have an account to log in. It doesn't log you straight in. Um, mine does. Does it? Mine yep. doesn't. Maybe that's a Google, a Chrome setting. Maybe my passwords are stored in Chrome. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now logged in. Why hasn't it done it? Stupid thing. Everybody, I'm just trying to get this code sorted. Right, there we go. Uh, Are we landing or anything at Coventry? Well, their plan is to land at Coventry, and I was. Oh, it's going to be a lovely crosswind then. <laughs> trying to actually... Um, Exeter? Where's this? Where's, 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 flights? I think we should go for two, three on this one is the best option. Okay. Probably. There's not much in it, I don't think. Uh, it's direct crosswind, isn't it? EGBE. E G E. E. So, commentary. Is this a grass strip? Grass. Oh, nice asphalt. No, asphalt. Yeah. Quite a big go. runway, commentary. So, uh, to find it, what we got? Three one five. So it's going to be a, a bit of a crosswind, isn't it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, so you see that on stream? Have you, have you actually seen the route on stream? Is that coming up on the screen, screen at all? No. 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 Okay. No, your little um, your overlays on on screen. Now it is. There you Charts go. are yeah. Yeah. So it's coming out now. It, yeah. When it was popped out, it wasn't actually. Um... Because it was still minimised from when you closed it down. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> gotta love that. Yeah, I'm going for two, three. Two, yeah. three. I think two, three. Especially I mean, as there's a, especially a being as there's a road to follow. Yeah. Okay. So let's turn off the autopilot. I've got a bit of height to lose here. Bring that throttle back. We're going idle at the moment. Just doing a slow descent. So 
so there we go. Seventeen knots from three one two at the moment. Yeah, it drops a little when you descend. Mm. Not a lot. Okay, so let's have a flat one. I can see a Spitfire coming to me wing first. <laughs> oh, we're doing a very short final today. This touch and go. Uh, now we'll do a full stop. Plenty of fuel. I tell you what, this is a uh, this is a hell of a crosswind, isn't it? Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just for this aircraft, that's for sure. Pushing me over to the uh, left here. I've got my nose facing hangers right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anybody know what the maximum crosswind landing is for the Warrior? Um, probably be on the board, won't it? Inside. Um, I was well, imagine it'd be around 30, wouldn't it? 30, something? 20? Oh, a bloody pilot. Can't see it. Oh, it's swinging around a bit. Uh, I wouldn't have thought it would be anywhere near as much as 30. No, I thought that's a bit high, isn't it? Yeah. What have we got yes. now? I've got 10 now. So it's, uh... I, I would have thought somewhere around 15 to 18. Four whites. Oh, that pilot is getting so frustrating. Oh, God, that wind. Just pushing my right wing up. You should have a look at Peely's view of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's <was> so funny. <laughs> right, on that view, it's pushing my nose up. <laughs> I'm going to go off to the right here. Yeah. Yeah. I've got another bus. The buses are popular. They got wings. Um, it's got an airfoil on the back. I think that's I have seen these buses parked with wings. When an aircraft spawns at the same position as one of those buses, it just looks so funny. I've seen forklifts on the one way. <laughs> yep, me too. Just going here. Crossways and lengthways. Yep. Oh, I've still got four whites. Come on, it doesn't want to go. Dead. Talk about floaties. And I've seen the pushback. You know the uh, mangle pushbacks. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. So, Mister McTavish, about... where are you? I'm just, just about touching down. Gone. Just touched down. Why don't I see you? He's just gone over the, uh... Coming past... Ooh, just, past the, uh... just past the taxiway. Yeah, that's it. Oh, hello, that's a great view. Oh, the grass will do. Give me the grass, that'll do. Um... Where are you guys? I have noticed there's more dust kick up now in the simulator. That was from the last update. Yeah, that that was it? The previous update, yeah. yeah. That was nice. Oh, there you I are. noticed like when I was doing the uh, helicopter, um, it, there's like quite a lot. It makes like a full cloud. Do you yeah. go left? Go left. What oh, more left? I'm already on the grass. Well, you're crabbing at the moment. Oh, not on my screen. I'm not. <laughs> Where are you? I just don't see you. Straight uh, ahead. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, I'll stay on the grass. Okie dokie. Righty ho! Look, I don't need to see where I'm going, I can hear that bloody Spitfire. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I was getting that in the, um, I was getting that noise in the caravan last night. Yeah, yeah. I literally be flying along, then it was, it was like, oh, there's a Spitfire around me, and I'm looking around. I'm looking around. There's no airplanes anywhere near me at all. I don't think, I don't think it was the Spitfire you were hearing. I think it was a Waco, because somebody was flying a Waco last night, and that's a known sound bug in the Waco. Oh, oh. But I didn't see a Waco anywhere near well, me. Uh, there was no airplanes near, near me because I didn't see any airplanes last night. No. Yeah, I, I was hearing the Waco inside the cockpit. I didn't hear it on outside, but when I went on to inside view, I was hearing it. Okay. Um, and I caught, I didn't see him flying, um, but I did see him on Join FS. All right. So let's let's um, let's go. Are you seeing those weird cloud formations? Look, um, that was... look in the other di look in the other direction. Um, uh, no, no, other way. Pan the other way. Not too late. Whereabouts the heading? Uh, uh, be nice. Oh, they're behind those buildings, for me. There's some really strange cloud formations. Oh, zoom in a bit, Peely, in that direction you're looking at now. Oh yeah. Yeah, rain. No, they're, they're not quite so apparent on your sim. Oh yeah, there it is. You can see the rain coming down out yeah. the clouds. Look. Yeah. yeah. So lucky we're not going to hang around here very long. So <laughs> let's go. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll set up. Um, we'll set up. Uh, we actually need... we're going in that direction. Uh, are that's we going Cardiff in Cardiff way? Yeah, that's uh, Cardiff way. Right? Uh, we're heading to Honington, which is one one three point six five. So let's set that up first. That's on the left. Okay, no. Uh, one, one, three. It doesn't matter which runway we use because it's a crosswind. I'm going to take off Six, in the middle. Five, and yep. we'll just do and one of Don't need those. runway. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. Oh, one, one, three, plus six, five. That's if good. If I keep getting that, I might change aircraft, actually. Getting a bit fed up with that animated pilot. Yeah. Is is do my yeah. Do Has that been occurring a lot? Only in this awesome. aeroplane. So is it just a flight issue? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Two six four. So we need to be on a heading of two six four. So spin this round. Could it be the Join FS AI showing up? No, it's just def it's definitely a pilot in this aeroplane. So that's 260 to 264 is going to be around there. Are you going backwards, Dougal? No. <laughs> like you're yeah. staring at me while you're taking off. Parking brake released. I don't think we need full length runway, do we? No, I just took off in in a, about a fifth. Oh yeah, this pitch Whoa. trim is now weird. Which way did you go then, Dougal? Um, I took off on zero five. Okay. Or in that direction, and I've just done um, a one eighty and coming back for the magenta line. So the way that we came in. Uh, no, I went uh, out the opposite the, way. The opposite way, yeah. So the, the right out and turn left. I oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I think we're still limited to fifteen hundred here as well, aren't we? Uh, um, yes. I know they're doing a uh, met research or net research around here. So I think it's like four thousand five hundred for ATC. Oh God, that's a strong wind. Yep. You're nearer the centre of run centre line than I was. They've got a bit of tail waggy. I see rain. <laughs> yeah. Got a bit tail waggy. Let's hit the barometer. Just reset that. Prim's very slow, isn't it? Yeah, really slow now. They've gone from one extreme to the other, haven't they? Yeah, can't wait that? to it's... get my, uh, what's it? 
uh, the, my proper trim wheel, then I can actually fully uh, spin it. So do you have a date yet for your, your kit? Um, I've been told the end of November, the start of December, around then. And then uh, we're going to build the rest from there. So there's a little bit more processed, making the desk for it and the mount. And might be thinking about uh, making an armchair and stuff like that. So, but hopefully it'll be done before Christmas. Cool. Which is the aim. Cool. So we're at 1500 feet. Let's get a bit closer. I'm going to hit pause for a minute. I didn't realise I was far ahead. Um, I'm going to hit now and on. We should get a bit of righty turn. Get a righty, is that opposite to lefty? Yeah. <laughs> bit of righty turn. I can see your lights do where you're paused. I'll just trim this back down to 1500. Oh. I found a cure. <laughs> Moving to the centre of the cockpit. Yeah. Then you've only got his hands to put up with. Yeah. But that wasn't even an option, was it? In the, in the thingy no, to I, actually... I don't even see why anybody would even think about putting in an animated pilot. I mean, who the hell wants to see an animated pilot on the inside of the aircraft? Can you? I mean, can... on the co-pilot, yes, but... The well, even that, cockpit, to be honest. The actual pilot itself, no. Can you see um, an issue with my co-pilot's yoke? Um, yes, you've got about three of them, I think. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, let me see if I've got that. Hang on. No, I haven't got that. So if, if I hide it, I end up with one. Right. Out of curiosity, get rid of your pilot and see if it changes anything. Change views and then come back into it. Go to outside, oh. and then come back to inside, and see if it's any different. I have no yokes. <laughs> I'll just fly for you. Oh, I think you guys have passed me now. Yes, I'm sitting here paused. We've got a Ryanair coming in front of us. Where's he going then? Oh, what's the next beacon? Because we're coming uh, out H. to Arlington. It'll be straight to Cardiff, I think. No, uh, it'll be no, BCN. BCN, which is... What's the frequency of BCN? Uh, 117.45. 117.45. You've got, you've got HON yet? Have we? Yep. Uh, yeah, Wait, well, that's coming now, up, though, isn't it? Yeah. That's like two miles away. Yeah. Yeah. 117.45. Yeah. And we're going in 240, so let's bring our heading round to 240. 71 nautical miles, this one. You know, uh, sail out to card. So we've got distance of one mile to Honington. So then what we can do is we can switch to heading mode when we buzz over the top. So see the two swing to from and then we'll buzz the heading. Forget Actually, we've now got a 21 knot crosswind. So oh. we're going to heading mode yeah. now. Hey, Super Typhon. Welcome and to the stream. We'll just switch our frequencies.
Are you going to fly along, Typhon? Super Typhon! This is uh, my first Twitch stream, correct? And so far, yeah. he hasn't broken anything. And it's, it's working. Which is... Oh, 29. 29 knots. Uh, Nine, 19 for me. There's something wrong with your weather, Spitfire. You seem to be gaining 10 knots from somewhere. Yes. Yeah. I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> Now, interestingly enough, uh, I need to switch to nav mode now. And I should be on a 240 radial. There you go, just send a screenshot in the uh, screenshot channel. Oh, hello. How are you doing, Super Typhon? Oh yeah, no, no, three oh three at twenty eight. Twenty nine now. That's wow. Are you you're definitely on live weather. Yeah, I'm definitely on live weather. Ah, but where are you getting your live weather from? Um, the sim. Okay. I Let me think. Just check where I'm getting. Uh, where do you change where you get it from? Uh, uh, top menu weather weather wind source. Weather wind source. Yeah, mine's ticked flight sim as well. Mine's tits N O A A. Oh, well, you it want says. it? Yeah, you need to change that to the sim. Flight simulator. Wouldn't that be for X Plane only, though? Um, no. I don't think so. Hello, something's going wrong here. My nav is not following my nav. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't welcome to the world, <laughs> the world of broken aeroplane. Uh, 11745. That's because I didn't actually set 11745. Oh no, it is on uh, Flight Simulator. I was looking at Wind Source. One five. Switch. That makes more sense, Neil. Okay, I'm going to have to go and change my heading a little bit. So pick this up again. Because I went a bit too far south. Yes, you look a little, look a bit lost down there. Actually, I'm going to have to head back a little bit. Be I expect you're expecting us to slow down and wait for you. No, you go ahead. <laughs> Don't mind me. That, actually, it's a good thing, really, because I was heading for a load of rain. <laughs> Out my window, look at that. Keening down, it is over there. Oh, wow. I think you might need a jacket over there. <laughs> I think I think you might be right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm heading back in your direction. I probably need to turn a little bit further back as well. Wouldn't it be nice if Microsoft put as much effort into their servers as they did into their weather? Uh, yes. They probably spent the five years developing the weather engine. <laughs> but even then, it's not ideal. I mean, it's great. I mean, it's. I mean, we well, can't... I mean, I would rather prioritise the multiplayer over the weather and then come <laughs> back to it. Yes. I'd rather have see each other properly and then just do presets and stuff like that and then run weather whenever they decide to do it. I don't think we're going to see uh, any great improvement on the servers. Uh, I don't think they're interested in multiplayer very much to be honest. Mm. But they have so many big streamers that promote their product. But if you think about it, however, you know, they haven't really. I, I was having this discussion with somebody earlier. They've got maybe half a dozen streamers. And even if those streamers had two or three hundred per person, which they haven't, 
um, how many does that total and how does that even compare remotely to what's going on with Xbox for example um, like Call of Duty and all them type of games I, I think the the multi streamers the, the multiplayer streamers are, I think, are actually a much tinier part of the equation than, than we've been looking at. You think? Yep, I, I really do. Wow, this wind is... I, I'm crabbing at silly angles to try and stay on the magenta... Well, to not stay on the magenta line. And um, now it's been confirmed that... Um, the, the the Reno add-on is a completely separate server system. I, I, uh, I'm even more concerned. Well, that's because they they can't. <sighs> I bet it's because. But we've they, we've they... been assuming that if all else fails, it will get fixed by the time the Reno release is, is, is ready, because they'll have to. Because how else will the Reno air, air races work? How but are they doing that? that that's going to be way. held... I've no idea. All I've been told is that it, it's it's being done on a completely separate gaming server. So what is this? Is this like a live stream of these aircraft flying, or is it like a competition? Or... Um, did you not watch the um, MS official video yesterday? No. It's, it's probably worth a look at. There is some info in there. I'll have to check it out. It's a bit long and a lot of it's pretty pretty boring, but um David, the guy who, who you know who who's in charge of developing that was in, it was on the uh, was on the stream. I see one of you. I don't know which one that is. Who's off my no, right? I mean I think that's me. You're actually going backwards. You're going tail first for me. Captain Spitfire, where are you? I'm in one. Yeah, he's way ahead. He, he's five, six, seven miles ahead of us. Mm. Oh, yeah. He's over to right somewhere as well. Can't avoid this weather. Yeah, it looks like we've got a bank of rain ahead there, haven't we? Yeah, I'm just see if I can go around it. And it. Yeah. I'm looking, it's dropping to around a thousand or so. I I don't think a thousand is going to be enough, is it? No. Probably like 50 feet or something. I think there's a hole over to the right. Nothing to the left. Yeah, that hole's patched up. If you go around it to the back, it's all covered. Oh, is it? Yeah. So we're not going to escape it's... this, are we? At, with this nah. weather. So let's change our weather. Let's... Uh, I might go under it. Let's see. You think let's you see gonna... You think under it? I'm going to leave yeah. mine for a while, just because it looks so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> let's move that down there for a sec. Over there. At least we can blame our landings on the weather. <laughs> oh, Alison, are you still with us? Um, I don't think so. I realised I missed a, missed a pudding question. <laughs> um, Alison always wants to know what we had for pudding. We've got FT, FTO here. Payer and Skip Talk in oh, chat. So they're obviously just watching but want to stay silent. This music is really weird. Let's see if I can do something about that. Sounds a bit like the Twilight Zone music. Mm. Oh, there's a there's a one called Mountain Air. Let's have a see what that one sounds like. But sometimes yeah. these things could be just uh, really ambient. 
which this one sounds like because it's very quiet so let's go to that one we'll go back to my a bit of that instead yeah if you uh, descent around 1200 1300 and head for uh, Hereford uh, you should be able to avoid that rain just in just on the left of us it seems and then we can bend back round to that uh, beacon Hereford or Hereford? Uh, Hereford H-E-R-E-F-O-R-D Heading of uh, do, 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 around 255 That's Hereford It's Hereford, Hereford. Yeah. That's, that's where the SAS are based. Um, actually, if you look on my stream, that rain is going to miss me to my left because I'm heading yeah, to all these yeah. hills. So I'm yeah. going to, I'm going to stick with it. It's not coming from that direction, of course. No, well, it's not. It's coming from the opposite. Yeah. So for me, it's like right over here. <laughs> yeah, we've all got very slightly different weather. I think, even though we're all on live. people appearing now a few labels I, I mean but the only ones I'm getting are clearly way way off in the distance yeah I mean anything that's close doesn't show at all does it I can see your lights but that's that's from join efforts yeah I see your lights too that is one advantage of the dark clouds yeah the lights right Mr. Bombasso. Hey, Captain Bombasso. Welcome to my test stream in Twitch. How are you doing? I hope Have you, you had brought a, your piper with you? A good day. And the only thing is, I don't see anything. It's very bizarre. When you say you don't see anything, what are you referring to? Um, oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's your ear. Um, ah, uh, I need to, to watch the, the, the actual stream as it goes out. Well, actually, on, on the stream manager, it's, it's, it's a much bigger delay than what you're seeing on Twitch then. So, um, anyway, uh, doing good. Just got off loading up and waiting for groceries on the delivery. I'm being very lazy. Why not? Well... Why not, indeed? I do like this train. Um, yes. Um, we, we, we did a bit of a grocery shop on the way home. Oh, dear. So look at Bombasso's post. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you forgot about the update. Well, you, you wish... We'll, we'll see you in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you might wish... It was optional. <laughs> um, am I the only one seeing terrain ahead? No, you see it on your stream as well. Are you going to clear that? A, yeah, there is a hill. Yeah, I'm going to clear that. What's your altitude? Higher than you, obviously. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm, uh, at 15, I'm at 1500 exactly. Oh, I'm at two, I look like I might four. just scrape the top of it. I'm at 2.4. Are you snuck up? I did sneak up. That's cheating. Well, you could call it cheating. 
I wish I knew how to turn my panel lights on. Yeah, it'll be there somewhere. Bombasso on though. It's Leave there. It it's that one there, I think. It's, it's this switch here, behind here. But for some reason... Oh. You see how it turns on and off? It's because I've got some other woofer turning it on. Oh no, there we go. Ah. That one does that one, which is fine. But I can't do my because one of the other lights is... Behind the throttle. Well, no, it, no it's... Aren't they the avionics switches behind the throttle? Yeah, th these are the avionic lights, these ones. But there's this, there's obviously, it's tied to a button that's obviously switching it back off again. Uh, which doesn't allow me to illuminate the controls on the thingy. But I've got I've got the lights on the uh, on the on the antique instruments, so that's fine. I can't even find the lights for that. It's it's the scroll wheel here on the right. Look at that! I might might just avoid all this weather. Look. Yeah, you're just gonna catch that top edge of it. Just that, just that little bit there. Uh, well, maybe there's a bit in front of me there as well. Yeah, free clean. <laughs> um, really, that nameplate mod that you're using, you yes. can't turn that one on and off, can you, with the key? Yes. With the F oh, you can. Okay, so I've still got the wrong one installed then, because I can't change the colour. Oh no. no okay. Um. I've got two mods. One's the nameplate that puts the nameplates on. Oh. And yeah. then I've got the um, the other one that does the, the on-off for it. Right. Um, so you're running two separate mods for that. So I'm running two separate mods, yeah. I'll just try and remember what it was. It was the... Um... catching the edge of that rain now as well. So I'm using the uh, the nameplate small blue and I'm using the where is the UI one? It's the mugs hidden UI. Okay. Oh dear, VFR going into cloud, not good. So that mugs one is simply just for um, just the UI for hiding bit. them. Yeah. And that that is F11 turns it off, F12 turns it back on. Yeah. So we've got 34 miles to get to the Brecon Beacon. Literally the Brecon Beacon. So, uh, Captain Babasso, I hope you got a good internet connection because it was about 8.94 gig initially, initially and then about Plus, another 40 yeah. gig for the world updates. Which you can postpone, of course. Yes, you could postpone them. Now, in the real world, we probably shouldn't go into this in nope. VFR. <laughs> nope. You'd be turning round or divert into that little field off to our left. I'm going a bit further, further north. Dang, I'll stop the world update for now, yes. So, um, weather doesn't look great, does it, really? It's not showing off the sim very well. <laughs> oh, somebody just flew past me. It was a Captain Spitfire. Flying sideways. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just wondering if 
Oh, I don't really want to go lower at this rate, this rate because it's a, a little bit muggy. And lower is not going to help you, I don't think. This, I think this goes down to ground level. Yeah, I'll, I'll just regret going up into the clouds. <laughs> Uh, I've got a meta one here, uh, meta viewer, is that plugin working? Oh look at that, it is... I don't know why the squares have gone empty, mine have gone like that as well. Yeah, the, the I don't know why. Um, something that's close. E.G. A.G. Yeah, it probably won't be in the database, I bet. Mm. They're all pretty small airfields. ICA there. not found. No, okay. Uh, um, uh, Shobden then. That was the bigger airport. Uh, EGBS. Mm. It could be a lot of BS. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, well, that's good. No meta information. Uh, we'll go for Cardiff then, EGFF, which is yeah, we, we, where we're headed to. Ah, right, so, uh, 2019 20, 21. Have we the 20th today? That's, that's, that's nice and recent the then. 21st today. So, yesterday's weather. That's <laughs> very useful. <laughs> Surely not. What's the point of giving him yesterday's weather? Uh, you probably need to use something like Windy. You've ever heard yeah. of that? Yeah. Yeah, can I use that within the sim though? No. No. But it's a web page, so it's not going to interfere well, with Well, that's true. That's true. It's quite cool because you can see whereabouts the rain is. And the only thing you can't do is you can't place your aircraft on it. No. The, the only thing is, is that I can see where the rain is. Although Sky Vector does, I think. Oh, you just gone past me again. <laughs> uh, the problem is that we're heading into sort of the Brecon Beacons, which are hills. Yeah, this is only going to get worse. And I'm not, I'm not feeling very comfortable about flying in the. Um, in the cloud when I know there's hills. Um, pretty sure we're outside of controlled airspace now, are we not? I would imagine, well, I don't know. We're coming in towards Cardiff, so at some point we're going to hit controlled. That's true, and Bristol. Yep. Um, okay, I'm changing my weather. Yes, I think, I think we need to do somewhat Weather Q improvement to mod. I don't know where I've got this vertigo racing from. Uh, you've gone a few clouds, have you? Okay. Let's go to few clouds. Because we we'll have to keep the same, otherwise it's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? Just re-hit my barometer. Well, this cloud layer is high. I'm about 7,000 feet and it's still rain. Yeah. Okay, so... We are coming up to the Brecon Beacon. Uh, if I bring that on the screen. I'm getting really confused because it's so laggy in the stream manager screen. The okay. actual stream is not... The actual stream is not. So I can't see whether or not you... Um, see. Looks like about four seconds at the moment. Um, Maybe five. Okay. Oh, I don't know. How do I see the actual... No, I don't see the stream manager. I want to see... My, how do I see my actual stream? Let's chat.
No, 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 live online. Why do I not see my stream on my phone? My channel. There we go. Alright, so how how out of date is this on my phone? Hmm. Hello. I'm gonna wave and see how long that takes. Right, madman okay. waving at us on the spelling <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> oh dear um okay you don't see the map do you in little land map come on screen so that's no. probably because uh little land map there's little land map coming up There we go, there we go, there we go. Transition, there you go. <laughs> so, so funny. Uh, right, so we got um, Brick and Beacon coming up here. Uh, so we've got Abergavenny Airport that should be just down to our left over here somewhere. Which I think is a, a grass strip rather than anything uh, more definite we've got six 17 miles to the beacon so we're doing all right following this VOR so that's good I'm, I'm just surprised myself I actually managed to <laughs> navigate like this I, I put this down to um, Spag at Ozzy uh, and um, he's training on how to follow a VOR um, so we need to be 191 magnetic from that beacon to get down to Cardiff. So uh, let's do a bit of prep work for that and get rid of that now. I'm trying to just back again. Okay, so we'll set our heading for 191. So we'll go down here, set our heading to 191. <laughs> 20, that's 90, so that must be around 191. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll get over the beacon, flick the switch, switch to heading mode, put in the new frequency. Actually, we can actually the frequency is not changing, we're just going to be in a from, uh, from direction instead, so that, that'll be good. So that's all good, all good. Uh, RPM wise, I've gone a bit mad. I so. have noticed. Bring it back to about 2500. We've <laughs> trying to catch up, dude. I also noticed on your little nav map, you've got more aircraft showing than I've got. I guess they're AI. Uh, I don't know. I notice I've just lost height, and um, that hill's a little bit taller than I. Yeah, I'm I'm up to two thousand. So we're just a little. Uh... In fact, it's going to need more than two thousand. Looking ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say two thousand seven hundred to clear it. Try five because it's a VFR figure. Mm. Uh, let's go to topology map. The Blarange, it's called. It stands at a height of 561, uh, which must be meters. meters. How can we get it to change the units for those sort of things? Elevation data is for the for the entire route is showing three thousand feet to clear all. Mm, 
it is that's keep keeping it well clear because the the, the biggest peak is around um about two six i think uh, yeah um look out the window neil <laughs> terrain terrain if all else fails look out the window uh, Dougal, you're going to need uh, a little over 2,000. <laughs> I'm at three. I'll tell you what, that was a good job I closed my little nap back on my screen. screen. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have smashed by now. That would have been dead. That would have been dead. That's funny, 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 funny. Oh, I'm getting peckish now. I only had a jacket potato for lunch, you know, even. So. My standby thing is fizzy fish from Maynard's. Fizzy? Fizzy fish, yeah. There you go. Look. Not sure I want to know. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> fizzy fish jellies. Uh, great if you like sour things. Yeah, I, can, I, not, I get what they are, yeah. Not, not great if you don't. <laughs> Okay, I'm leveling out of three. There we go. I see somebody up very high up there. I don't know who that is. Not one of us, I don't think. No, it's not one of us. I'm at three. There's a Captain Spitfire below and behind. And Dougal is just bringing out the roof, just going over that, that hillock. Yeah, just past it. See some labels coming up behind me. First time all flight. Wow. Um, that's more than I do. I don't see any labels. Yeah. I wonder who that is up there then. That must be an AI plane. I think I've got all mine turned off. Yeah, didn't you turn yours off, Pele? Uh, what in? Uh, A mod. Oh, you mean labels? Yeah. So I did. Yeah. There you go. So that's the one of the things about getting old, Captain Spitfire, is your memory starts to go. And I feel like sometimes I'm going like this, a guy over here, bananas. <laughs> we got a, spi a spicy breakfast in a Boeing 748. A base Titan oh. and a banana. Don't see a 74 in this sim very often. No. Wayne Price 72 behind. A long way behind, probably. It's so funny how sometimes you get the aircraft and the height, and sometimes you just get the height and yeah. no aircraft. Pity they don't give you a distance. Yes. It would be so much nicer. That's a nice bit of flying from that P-38. Yeah, that Fantastic. Is <laughs> That's a hell of a bit of side slip, isn't it? Isn't it just, yeah. Who would have thought it from the P-38? And do you know what? If I actually stop join FS and start it again... You could probably clear it briefly. There you go. 
You're now flying straight and level. Yeah. So what that tells me is that the initial values that it sends are wrong. Because it's able to correct itself. It's very peculiar. Hello, we've got some weather coming in again. So got yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm actually going through the little dip in the clouds. <laughs> look at that. Google, this was your choice. Few clouds. Hmm. Yep. You want to be turning left. Um. Oh yes, yeah, Brecon Beacon. We're going to turn left. Hey then. And what is our new? Uh. One nine one. One nine one. Less for you because you've got to come back in again. Yeah. I left it a little bit too far. And no more about there. So we need to, need to go a little bit left. Might go a bit further left to avoid that cloud. Bit. For some reason now, I'm at 6,000 feet. <laughs> this aircraft just keeps climbing or descending until you tell it to stop. So we'll just see if we can get underneath this cloud before we actually hit it. Needles are all over the shop now. Okay, back down to three thousand. How's your GPU doing? I'm surprised I'm still running. Um, I wonder what's different at the moment. Let me have a look at my temps. 
86. That's a tad warm. It is indeed. So you haven't decided to switch out yet? You're still going to post oh, well, I haven't, here? I haven't got the new card yet. It didn't oh. arrive today. Right. Um, you know, he posted it. I think it, he used, you know, three to five working days. How long have we been flying? Because this will be the longest, I think, Sims run for a couple of days. Um, I was late joining, wasn't I? It was so it must have been ten past seven that I so two hours. So it's that's bad. twice as long as it ran yesterday. One hour forty one minutes. All right. I started the timer on my. I'm making a little uh, console of my pad thing so that's not looking too bad oh Dougal do you remember this what this music oh I don't have the stream sound up Pompasso is at fifty-five percent. Pedal harder, my dude. <laughs> Pedal harder. <laughs> More coal in the fire. We'll be at Cardiff before it finishes. So it could be that we, uh, you know, I could stay on and, um, you know, we'll return back to White Waltham. Well, actually, uh, we could actually go back um, to Wickham Park. Because that's a nice little airfield. It's quite a populated round here, isn't it? With these yeah. uh, housing estates. What about are we? Must imagine the more close you get to the uh, coastline, it's the dearer it gets. There, these top houses. We're not that far away from Cardiff now. No. Probably should be able to see it in the distance here, yeah, look. Up there. Um, so, Cardiff is. EG FF. Let's do an EGFF. Search. Cardiff, there we go. Marvellous. Ooh, how do we want to go into here? These winds will be coming in at three zero. Yeah. So could go over Barry. And yeah. Come in. Go over Barry, come in that way. Yeah. I think that might be a good idea. That's Barry over here. Yep, just the left of us. Okay, let's go. Uh, order pilot off.
should see Dougal McFavish coming in from my left hand side somewhere. Uh, I've just started what my downwind. <laughs> so you have. It's just your airplane. <laughs> your airplane looks like you're coming down <laughs> south. <laughs> oh gosh. You gotta laugh, haven't you, really, because you just cry. You know. I used to laugh for a while, but I'm so disappointed with them now that it's it's sad. It's like we paid money not for this, or did we? Yeah. yeah. Remind me how much. Barry looks quite nice from this distance. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? In reality, I think it's quite a run-down place. Mm. Oh, we've got somebody called uh, Doors to Manual in the spit. <laughs> I love these names. Yeah. I think I think mine's silly, really... We've got somebody... Oh, he's just disappeared, but we have one called Silly Billy. All right. I feel mine's so boring. <laughs> Looks like Cardiff used to be a uh, cross runway there. Looks yeah. Like... They did, yeah. Yeah. Well, it used to be um, maintenance airport for BA, didn't it? Yes. So mm. it was very busy. I mean, it, with, even with 7.4s, you know, there used to be a, a quite a large number of BA 74s all being worked on here. Yeah. Okay, what's my speed? Uh, about 110. I think we can bring I'm that on up. a I'm on a fairly long downwind, so you can go in there before. Okay, I'm just going to bring that down to about 100. Flaps one, and we'll turn on to base leg. Oh, he's checking outside, find out where the airport is. Funky pulp, this. Okay, get a little slow. So you head out over the sea a little bit before turning on to final. I do love the sound of this airplane though. Music's ended. Just finished the track. <laughs> it's going on to the next track. Uh, I just every now and again I just turn the volume up to have a listen. So it's empty. Okay, let's uh, turn on to final flaps all the way down. In out, get rid of the co-pilot, pilot, person that the noise may. 
big time. I'm coming in a bit sort of uh, sharp, so I need to come out a bit. in the real world you do not take a swig of beer on final I don't know <laughs> maybe on the quiet <laughs> I think your flying instructor would actually uh, push you out the door just say it's water <laughs> okay so now a bit higher and a bit fast So we do actually have some speeds down here on the table down. Oh, go away! Oh, bit of wind when you're on the approach. I've just got four knots, actually. Yeah, that's what? what I'm showing. bit of wind here right on the the last bit it's just pushed me off a bit that pilot pops up at the worst possible times too I was hoping to get off of that exit and I missed it, never mind. My sim's gone frozen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, you, that you... wind does suddenly come in right at the last... yeah. Wow. That's bizarre. That's not shown on Little Nav Map at all, that wind. No. It's showing two knots straight in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw it blow you off and I thought, well, that's very strange. Uh, and then exactly the same just happened to me. I could just see a Captain Spitfire just there. So we're going to park up next to him. What do you want to do? Do you want to fly back to White Waltham or um, not White Waltham? I mean, um... probably a bit far, isn't it, to do the same route, the same amount? Oh again. no, no, directly back is what I was thinking. Oh right, okay. Because it's essentially across the the, the uh, across the seven and um, straight back. It shouldn't be well. Actually, let's let's put it in. 
if we do this one, because I don't, I won't have any nav aids. Oh, look at that. I zoomed in and my thing is all changed back to the old style. Oh. Something very peculiar is going on. Yeah, there's, that's, it. there's something wrong glitching out there, the graphics. I think I need to reload this aeroplane. Right. Uh, so uh, we'll go back to GPS, but we'll do a direct to and then we'll put in. It is EG, 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 EG. ETD. No. Yeah, well, it, that could have been worse. It could have been a blue screen of death. Um, uh, well, at least it got down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I should reboot. Um. Is that because of temperature, do you think? I don't know, because, you know, without going in to look. Um, if it, Normally, when it's temps, it's a blue screen of death rather than a CTD. Oh, that's true. Um, and if I do get, I've realised if I do get a, um, a, a blue screen, it won't disconnect me on Discord, because um, my Discord's running on my client PC. Okay. So we'll do... oh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna relaunch it. See what happens. Okay. So it'd be E G T F. I think is the. Uh... Airfield. What well, white ball? No, 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 no. It's not that. E G L M. No, that's white ball. Then we'll go back to white ball, and we'll go back to uh, Wickham Air Park. TB. So Where's EG that? TB. Tango Bravo. Or Booker. Um... Oh, just over the water. No. Echo Golf Tango Bravo. Tango. Oh, Tango Bravo. So it'll give us a distance in a bit. Maybe. It's 95 nautical direct. That shouldn't take too long with a tailwind. Do you say e -G -T -B? Uh, e Echo Golf Tango Bravo. Yeah. White Water is only 96, so you can go there. Yeah, I know. But I thought, well, we'll, we'll stop at Wickham Park. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Spud, oh. isn't it? Yeah. That's oh, Booker, God, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, Booker. that's Booker. Yeah. So, uh, we need to go down to the end of the runeway. Uh, probably got a taxiway there on the left, so we'll just spin around over there. Quite nice. Uh, is this a default airfield or EGFF? Have I got this one installed anywhere? It it looks pretty good on mine as well, so I, I'm guessing it's one of the handcrafted ones. Yeah. It's default. Look at where you're texting now. Doesn't look like I've got anything installed. I think Orbits do do one though. In Cardiff, I think. Any day.
I'm only convinced that my sin's actually starting. Oh, I've just had a CTD as well. Oh, oh really? Mate. I shall count myself lucky. Oh, mine's just started. spawn on the runway I think what runway are you on uh three zero three zero okay I've got somebody called fog dad five 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 in an EA7 whatever an EA7 is I think it must be a helicopter Right, red and rudder required, which is interesting. My sim one launch is not good. Mine took ages and ages to get there eventually. over the coast. the seven bridge a place it's always been so I'm gonna to head towards the seven bridge because I I did actually load in uh, a seven bridge mod because the seven bridge looks really awful in this in oh hello who's coming just down the wrong way is that you do yep and he's up so it's a free uh, seven bridge mod and it's, it's, it's seven bridge most of one further up anybody know there you go. uh, you've got seven bridge what's the one further up good question I've no idea oh isn't it the Prince of Wales or something like that Yeah, I forget what the names are. I think it's called the Prince of Wales, the big, the big motorway bridge. So let's set an altitude, 2,000 feet. B1 Sim just gone live. They're all at it today. Oh. Well, you're not only competing with other people on Twitch, you're now competing with other people on YouTube as well. Yeah, you wouldn't get any of those over here, though. They're x plane fans. Yeah. It's 
So I want to see what this mod looks like. I'm, I'm assuming I'm, I did actually unzip it and actually put it in. That's it. That'll be the other thing I probably didn't do. Oh no, I have definitely Seven Ridge Bamboo. put it in so uh, it should appear I'm uh, going to slow down a bit people as I realized I'm blitzing along as usual It's gone quiet. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I don't see a bridge yet. It's a ways off, yeah. Is a little bit further up, isn't it? Another 20 miles, yeah. Just drop into V1's Discord and give my apologies. Yeah, something's broke here because I'm getting a message saying something unexpected has happened and I'm getting an error code. What, when loading up? Yeah. Have you, and oh, uh, I just seen a label pop up. Captain Bombasso. He's here, is he? The man himself. 2,700 feet in a P 28. I don't see him, but I don't see many labels. I only see one, and that's it. <laughs> oh, dear. We're also on um, Join FS, Bombasa. Yes, because on the, the TTM server. La labels uh, come and go like the weather. Uh, yeah, Bombasa, if you can hear, the servers are actually much worse after the update. I have no idea what they did to break it even worse than it was already broken. Um, but we're on, for what it's worth, we're on North Europe and the TTM Join FS server. Um, drop into voice chat when you can. Okay, let's have a bit of wakey uppy stuff. Yes, it's required here. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely required here.
you doing, Spitfire? Yeah, I'm still giving it a go. I'm just running this repair thing quickly and just checking if it's in the farm. Uh huh. So far, so good. What's happened? I've just had the CPD now for an hour. Something's happened. What's your weakness? What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you. Deep connection. Lights a spark. Oh, I see a bridge. I see a bridge. All these tracks have have a, a singer attached to them. Are you still on epidemic? Yep. So this is a uh, in their album uh, selection that is online creators. Uh, no fluff, just tough by Heather Robertson. She's a, a you. Uh, she's a, a personal trainer and a YouTube creator. So these are all workout tracks. So that's probably why they're a bit more upbeat. So if you feel like doing a bit of a workout, I'll pass. <laughs> you do a chair workout, do you? you know, the arms. Yeah, yeah right. Ah, oh, I see Bombasso behind uh, us. Bombasso joined in Little Nav Map. So he's obviously, circus, yes. yeah, he's obviously in Join FF. I see him over there. <clears throat> so um, I'm heading on a course of. Uh, what's that? That must be 60, 70. 070. 075 something like that towards the seven bridge and um, this is a bridge that uh, spans a, a major motorway in the UK uh, that really starts in the centre of London and goes out west all the way out to somewhere uh, where does it actually end uh, the M4 how far does it actually go isn't it Haverford uh, no, it becomes the, the A40, doesn't it? Um, I'm just looking at a little map up now. I'm seeing where... It... Yeah. That's the M4 all the way to Port Talbot. Yeah. Does it go beyond there? I thought it did. I thought it went to Haverford. Yeah, oh yeah, it goes a lot further. Um, yeah. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of where it ends. Uh, M4, 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 and then there's a roundabout. The M4 becomes the A48. Yeah. So, uh, so Neddy, by the looks of it. Certainly a long motorway by British standards. Yeah, it is. It's a hop, skip and a jump by American standards. Yes. Absolutely. So is he is he in the Discord? Is he going to join the Discord? No, there's nobody in the waiting room. No. You come in into chat, Bombasa. Bombasa, you come in. Oh, my Garmin's, my Garmin's have, have no power. Oh, okay. So go to uh, so here. You got your uh, EFP GPS. Click on this a couple of times, and it'll rotate them through the different GPSs, and they'll power up. I have the same issue with it. You might also get that silly animated pilot keeps popping up in the pilot seat. So. You might. 
So here we go, Dougal. Here's the free mod. How's that for a bridge? Looks all right for a freebie. So you actually get this one and this one. Actually. So it's on um, flight dim uh, flight sim dot uh, io. 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 Looks quite good. Please, there's no, Clark, no no cars on it though. <laughs> yeah, I've just got the. Um, oh no, there the are. Default. They just came in. They just came in. The default bridge is pretty poor, isn't it? It is. And uh, I don't think at the moment you can fly underneath this one. He actually made a note. Made made a note in the uh, install that you can't fly underneath it. So that's quite cool and the other one looks pretty cool as well up there it's like two little ones you've got one there and one there so it's... okay so i'm gonna now jump on to uh make sure my cd is i cdi is on gps and i'm gonna switch over to nav mode and it will probably do a bit of a righty and then straighten up because essentially we should follow this road here the M4 most of the way probably fly over your house again Dougal ah pretty close yeah because at one point we're going to be on the um... yeah we should be coming down the M40 at some point we'll see the M4 will go south of us and then we should pretty much follow the um, the M40 oh well, maybe not actually I think maybe we'll probably end up following I don't know actually why have I come so far south why am I still going south About the right heading if we're going to um uh, where are we going i'm going to wickham aren't we yeah yeah we're on about the right heading oh yeah we need to go a bit further south yet to get onto the magenta line yeah that's uh, that's why i was getting a bit confused yeah doesn't take much <laughs> you've noticed So that must be the, uh, which motorway is that then? That must be the M5, yeah? M6, M5? Five. Five. Probably find Bristol Airport down there somewhere. That's, there it is. Um, Phil that's North Bristol, the one we're just passing, that's Filton. 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 It's not an international Filton. one, is it? Filton. Um, I think it is. Wow. I think so. But I think only for the, you know, some of the smaller airlines. Bristol's to Bristol Airport's actually to the south of Bristol. In the haze down here somewhere. I see some lights. Am I on, on, on rental power again? I'll just slow down a bit. Yeah, you're away, away ahead of me. Bombasso is even further behind me, so we need to slow it down. I think Spitfire's in the ether somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's in the PC repair mode. 
can't believe mine's still going. I'm not saying a thing, Dougal. I do not want to tempt fate. I did see your lights. Yeah, I can see yours. Just. Just see you, just there. Frame rate is now 30. I tell you, it's because I'm streaming. Yeah. I, I think this is a bit more, a bit heavier on my resources than uh, the YouTube boss. It, should, it shouldn't make any difference because you're using the same interface, aren't you, with with Streamlabs? Yeah, but it depends on what, what the stream manager is doing in Twitch. still looks smooth on stream does it not yeah it looks fine looks excellent uh, it looks better in fact on twitch than it normally does in youtube still looks a bit bright for me but yours your screen always does for me for some reason that like it's on hdr but i think the colors uh, are a little bit more vivid more like they should be on oh, Twitch right. than they sometimes were. So weird, isn't it? How things like that, different platforms just... Have... Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the little turn. Just to bring me onto the... Uh... Magenta, I think. Yeah, you're exactly three miles ahead. You interrupt me and I interrupt you. Puts Bombasa, I think, about seven miles behind me. There he is, just popped in the waiting room. There we go. Didn't keep you waiting very long, Captain Bombasa. Hey, hey. hey. Oh, you're very loud in my ears. <laughs> Hang on, I'll turn you down. It's my ears. He <laughs> loves to be heard. He loves to be heard. <laughs> oh, what's going on, guys? Got to love this sim, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the garments are still out. I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, oh really? They, yeah, they refuse to turn on. But, uh... So you, did, you, been, uh, did you try to cycle through? Yeah, I, I cycled through it. Uh, yeah, it, they're just they're just dark. It's not sure. I, I wonder if there was a uh, update I didn't push. Oh, you know what? That might be true. Because I'm using the um, that uh, I'm using the Garmin mod that gets them close, you know, closer uh, to uh, real world. So I didn't update that. I know they have no. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah. I don't use any of those updates anymore because I was getting so many CTDs I, I didn't know what was causing them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I've been keeping the mods uh, very small. Only one or two planes that they just uh, fly kind of like trash. <laughs> I, had, I had to keep the mods, man. Uh, like the uh, larger two is one of them. And it, it, with the modded ones, great. I mean, it really flies well. Cool. So I've slowed down. I'm at 92 knots now. So um, you should okay. catch up fairly quickly. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm at about 115. Yeah, I'm pushing 115 right now. Okay. So um, yeah, this is my first first test stream on a Twitch. So um, yeah. to see how it goes, how it performs. And yeah, um, I mean, it looks pretty. It looks pretty good. You know, watching it now, it looks looks good. Good. Good, 
Actually, I'll, t I'll turn my face off for a bit, and so we just see this aeroplane. Let's, uh, let's make sure my cam off turns cam off. There we go. I should put that on a multi button actually, because it turn should do the cam off and do the transition at the same time, and then I don't have to click. So, how's your day been, Bombasso? Too bad, man. Not too bad. Just uh, you're about halfway through you, now, aren't you? Or are you finished? No, oh, yeah, I'm finished. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. You start. Bombasso starts at silly o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that uh, that two o'clock, uh, two p.m. Uh, drop off. If that happens, is great. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't know if you can see it on stream, but have a look at my beacon light. It looks like it's like made of jelly yeah <laughs> as the airplane moves it's like Ooh. oh so is mine if i zoom right in on mine yeah as, the, as yeah yeah i see what you mean that's bizarre that's weird isn't it that is one crazy it's like they've a replaced jelly. it with one of those sweets that you're eating yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a jelly mold i've never noticed that before Zoom right in on it. Let me, get, let me check that out. Yeah, try it on yours. Are like, you in the Warrior? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, zoom right in on the beacon light and, and it wobbles around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I swear I haven't smoked anything today. No. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. That's crazy. That's cool. Ah. Uh... So it hasn't been too bad a stream, I, I have to say. We, we haven't been inundated with viewers, um, but that's fine, you know. It'll, As... take a, it'll take a while for people to, to, to realise what's going on. Plus, oh, yeah. other people are streaming as well, which, um, I mean, let me just have a quick look. I mean, I think there's quite a lot of other streams going on right now. Yeah. So, so we're showing um, one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, but uh, two of those are stream labs and the stream elements. So there's three other people besides you, Captain Bombasso, and um, yeah, well, Captain Spitfire is with us, but he's, he's um, having technical issues. He's he, I'm he, back, by the way. I'm oh, back. you're back. Oh, you? You're back. Are you in the air? Are I you am. in the air? Yeah. I am. Oh, we've got Count Zep with us now. Do you go? Oh, who's, in, who's in the SR22? That's me. Oh, That's right. Different. Okay. Good. Wait, God. wait, 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 wait. The, the, the man, Mr. Spitfire himself, is in the <laughs> SR-22. No, I, I'm done. Good night, everyone. Yeah, I'm yeah. Done. Wow. That's got to be a first. <laughs> Where is he, then? Uh, he's off my right wing, if you look on Little Love Map. I just don't see him in the... In the... In you were, he's too far for you, too far away in the sky for you to see him. Oh, he's um, he's a mile and right. You're a mile and a half off my right wing, but you're also flying sideways. So I'm just going to relaunch. I'm going to stop and restart. Join FS. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm not even seeing you on uh, on the uh, on Join FS. So I'm not. Oh, not really? Yeah. Let me. Are you off. on the Are you on the two tone server? Yep. Okay, I'm directly ahead of you. I'm uh, five, six, seven miles ahead of you. Okay. Yeah, see, I see Captain Mabasso actually as a nameplate in Microsoft. Right, I did earlier, but he's gone gone again now. But I don't see you, Dougal, and I don't see... Um, no. I don't okay. see Captain Spitfire. On uh, Join FS, do you guys have to uh, check mark? Uh, you know, check every box for all the planes and or anything. Oh, there you are. No. Um, no, I mean, it should work pretty much straight out the box. Have you got two green lights? Uh, are you lit up for simulator and password? Oh, yeah. Okay. We certainly should show up for you then. Yeah. Oh, no, you just disappeared from Microsoft. So where we come up to now? We've got another airfield we're just passing here. This must be... Um... Uh, who is this? 
If you can see that big dual carriageway underneath you, Bombasso, yeah, you're in the right place. Which airfield's this? Lynham. Lynham Air Force Base, yeah. Is that a current one? Uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Um, in fact, I think that's a shared base, isn't it? I think both um, the RAF, I think the RAF share that with, um, with the US. All right. I think. Sort of a standard modelled air airport, I think. Oh, he's back. He's back. So you're not that far behind me, Dougal, and I don't see you in the sim, even in with join FS. I don't see your lights. Yeah. Uh, and you're one one <coughs> under two nautical miles away. Yeah. You know, this is the funny thing I think about the sim. You can see everyone else. Like I, I have like about three or four guys on my right. Yeah. But my friends, I can't see any yeah, of that. No, I'm just gone. Yeah. Yeah. No. It makes no sense at all. No. And from my from what I've learned today, it's not gonna get any better anytime no. soon. Oh wow. What was it? So we're heading to an airport called Booker, which is um, Echo Golf Tango Bravo, if you want to put it in your... Oh, you can't put it in your navigation because yeah. it's not yeah. working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah. Yeah, yeah, guys, just give me some, uh, give, give me a heading and I'll just throw it in. Um, now. So we must be on about seven... 82 082 082 okay did you catch any of the um, Microsoft FS official Bombasso yesterday I missed everything mm. I oh, got what? a warning <laughs> you got a warning <laughs> yeah I kept asking the same question about the um, so did Mur me and Murphy just kept asking the same question you which know, was what we did it very politely about when are you going to fix the servers for all the disappearing aeroplanes? No, they got upset. <laughs> well, see, if somebody did, yeah. Yeah, did they ever answer? I doubt it. No, no. Um, not, no. They skirted around the outside of it a couple of times, but they've, both in the last two sessions, they've just completely um, avoided the, the, the questions and the answers. And I've now, from what I've also understood today, you know, I thought it would be fixed when Reno was released because yeah. they would have to have servers. They're, that's going to be run on a completely separate gaming server, apparently. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fix the problem, just add another server. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm sure you can imagine all the guys that fly in any kind of formation teams, and there's more than just one. That, you know, they're really unhappy bunnies right now. However, if they make it work for Reno racing, they can port that technology over to the main servers for everybody else, surely. Oh, you'd like to think so. Yeah, we'll see. Bear in mind, <laughs> they, broke, they broke the servers in June. Sim Update 5 is what broke the servers. And they've had since June. And they, you know, not only have they not fixed it, they've made, they've a made it worse, and b tried to pretend there's no problem. So that's why I don't think we'll see a fix anytime soon. I think we're such a small niche in the community. Right. Mm. 
that's annoying. For sure. So this motorway down here, uh, Captain Babasso, this is the M4. Okay. It's, Which um, runs just north of my house. Um, and um, it's it starts in the centre of London, and then goes all the way out into sort of a, let's say, mid Wales. So it's, it's, as motorways go, it's, it's it's reasonably long. It's not the longest, is it, Dougal? We've got the M1 that's the longest, probably, isn't it? I would imagine so, yeah. Oh! Do I see lights? Are they lights? No. So I'm only doing 105 now, ground speed. About 110. There's a bit of wind behind us. Four knots. Oh, look at that, he's gone I'm again. Tr I'm trying to stay just a little bit faster than you and a little bit slower than Bombasso. <laughs> And that way we should all close up by the time we get there. Yeah, because it's there, yeah. Yeah, I actually have just installed a little nav map again, so I can see you guys on there. Oh, yeah. right. Okay, brilliant. At least that works. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. works. Yeah. Have you got us flying sideways and backwards and things like that? Yeah, Duke, yeah. Well, you are backwards. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah that, again, that's that. been made much worse since the update. And that's obviously a communication problem between Join FS and the sim. Oh, wow. A lot of the stuff should have been taken care of before uh, the, the Xbox crowd came along. Because, you know, that's, you just tripled, you know, who's out here. Well, the thing is, is that Xbox is running on DirectX 12. You know that? Oh, yeah. And we're not. We're running on yeah. DirectX 11. So they're actually maintaining two two sets of code at the moment shouldn't make any difference as far as the servers go though it shouldn't because they'll both 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 dx11 and dx12 will both be sharing the same network protocols yes it should but i wonder if some of these bugs that are in the system are related to some of the calls that they're having to make to I've the driver. How did I manage to go past you without noticing? Uh, did you go past me? Yeah. That's because I slowed down to allow Bombasso to catch up. He's not that far behind me now. Well, it's five five miles. Yeah. Captain Spitfire, I don't know where you are. I just, I just do it no. Yeah. Just ahead. He's half, half, just under half a mile ahead of us. I flying so I am. Flying sideways in the SR22. <laughs> I don't see you. I'm oh, hang on a minute. Right. I do see Sonic. In... Is that somebody out there? And I guess if the model is flying sideways, you're not going to see the lights in the same way. Uh, true. You know, if you relaunch, if you close and restart your join FS, you'll probably see him. I, see, I now see you, Peely, directly below me. Um, I'm 500 feet above you. No, I just see stars. Slightly ahead. I'm slightly ahead of you. I'm at 2,500. Oh, gotcha. Very see slightly us. ahead of you. Oh, hello. Somebody's just gone very fast. There backwards. you go. There, there I am. Look, that's me. Yeah. No, no, oh, no, and, no, that's, no. and that's Captain Spitfire. <laughs> so that's you, Dougal, up there. And that the other guy is some dude called Captain 22, I think. Captain SR22. Captain SR22 now. Yeah, I'm seeing two of you now, Peely. He's, the servers have come online. He's he's doing some amazing slewing, I think. Slewing or slurring? Slewing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, does look like an SR22 though. It is an SR22. Yeah. And where's Mombasso gone? He's there. He's, uh, he's directly. Close. Yeah, he's directly over the M4, so he's just a bit behind and south of us. I've dropped right down to 85 oh, no. knots. That's in there, isn't it? 
Oh, hang on. No, he's, he, no, he's away behind us. Oh, Dougal, I see you above you. That must yeah. be that must be SR22, man. <laughs> yeah. And okay. It's quite nice this English countryside out here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Another airport there, wasn't it? The airfield over there. No. Yeah. What's that Don't there? Don't see it on the map. There's a place ahead of us called Scary Hill. <laughs> you see it? It's the little um, triangle mark, so it's just a little, um, a little raised mark called Scary Hill on Little Nav Map. Uh, Are you on, on topology map? No, I'm on Open Street Map, but it should still be marked. Yeah, it's still marked on right. You've just passed it on Little Nav Map. Oh. You just went over it. Oh, just we, a little mark oh on yeah, I got, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Veil of the White Horse. There's the White Horse yeah. in the sim. Uh, the one near us is in Westbury. I don't know about the other one. So we're in the Vale of the White Horse. So there must be a White Horse Hill somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, we've passed it. It's oh. behind us and slightly north and behind us. <sighs> There's also another one in a place called Westbury. Do they have that sort of thing in the US? Captain Barbasso? Uh, what is it? It's where... Like a, a, a chalk white horse carved into, carved the, into not the carved, hill. But... Not that I know of, honestly. A bit like those markings. Do you remember those ground markings, Bombasso, when we did the Bolivia flights? Yeah. A bit like those, only this, yeah. this one is a white horse. Yeah, not really, no. No. Oh. We've got a lot of those sort of things over here, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just, we just have a Hollywood sign. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we get. Uh, thanks. Yeah, but you have got the... Um, uh, was it four presidents, isn't it? Carved into the... Oh, uh... yeah. That's true. What's That's the place they're that. carved into? Monument Hill, uh, is it? Mount, Mount, uh, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, yeah. 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 Well, I think I think the uh, the music's definitely improved, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There you go. Dougal McTamish is up there. There is somebody behind him, which must be... Captain Spitfire in an SR-22. Yep. I will never live to hear that again. I did once, don't worry. <laughs> and... Captain you know why he's in, you know why he's in that, don't you? Oh, he's, he's right off my tail. I know. Because he can't, he can't fly slow enough in the Spitfire. <laughs> well, I can, he's... <laughs> Trying something different. I've never flown the SR-22 and I've got the uh, Deluxe as well, so... Right. It's, a it's nice not a bad little aircraft. Yeah. Mm. I've yet to take it out on stream. Mm. I think the sounds can get a bit much when yeah. you fly it for any length of time. So, uh, Bombasso, we, this was a... Um, it was a test stream just to make sure that Twitch and all that stuff worked. Yeah, I'm not really sort of set up with all the things that I want to do yet in Twitch. Oh, yeah. Um, but this was um, what I would call a club route. Oh, club route? Oh, look at that. Two cats is raiding with a party of 27. My Good word. Thank you very much. Two That's cats. interesting because I thought we might be raiding him. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I was going to raid him with my three people. And what's more, they're all following. Look at that. Oh, you haven't got any pop outs. Oh. You haven't got any. Oh, you have got pop ups. There you go. Yeah. I have got pop ups. Do I not hey, have pop ups? Two Cats says it's party time. Thank you, Two yes. Cats. That's really appreciated. Oh, Viper Strike. Hello. Ah, <laughs> yes, I come to the dark side. Look, I'm even dressed in black. <laughs> your, your camera's not on, Paley. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Oh dear, that's a, that's a, that, what, what sort of mistake, uh, there we go, yay! Um, 
So yes, I, we weren't really going to be flying this long, really. How long are we going now? Yes, yeah, yeah. So, um... Uh, two cats, you landed DC-6 with only two engines on the same wing. Why would you want to do that now when you've got four perfectly <laughs> yes. good engines? You have a habit of losing engines on that aeroplane. What is going on? He just likes breaking stuff. So, um, I've got a few thank yous. So, uh, Lee Dixon, thank you for uh, following. Uh, Tyler, D75, thanks for following. Uh, Blue Nose NL, thanks for following. Uh, Viper Strike. Thank you for following. Captain Seppi, thank you for following. Uh, oh, Slim Captain Man, Seppi in the house. 821, thank you very much for following this brand new channel on uh, Twitch. I've come over from the um, the red side to the purple side and um, uh, to make this my new home um, because of all you fabulous guys like Two Cats who comes in raiding with 27 people. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Gun Ho Guy. Good morning. Yes, well, it's a bit later for us in the evening here, but it's, uh, it's like quarter past 10 in the evening. Uh, so uh, thank you for joining. And um... if anybody wants to, um, to jump in and fly, we've still got about... 16, 18 nautical miles to run. Yeah. So just jump in. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's a challenge me and Captain Seppi are doing. All right, okay, I understand now. Trying to fly the DC-6 with only... Well, your next challenge will then will be one engine, I guess. <laughs> um... Cappy Seppi is in the house, yes. Uh, Gun Ho Guy is in Australia. Quarter to eight in the morning. Friday. Wow. wow. That's dedication for you. Enjoy, dedication. enjoy your Friday morning. Gosh, you'll be up to watch um, 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 Oz, 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 um, what's his name? Oz Flight Simmer. Oz, Oz Flight Flight Simmer. Simmer. I had it in my head, Oz Flight Simmer. Uh, but it didn't shame. come out. The yeah, disconnect between brain and mouth. Uh, so Slimman81, good morning, good evening. It's Stephanie, good evening. Uh, we, we haven't really had a, a a bad stream, you know. We've got a pilot that keeps popping in to my cabin for some unknown reason, and I, I end up with uh, three yokes. And, um, and stuff like that. But hey, it's all good. We can manage that. So how far have we got to go? Uh, we have uh, da, 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 15 nautical miles to go. Uh, we're in the UK flying and um, uh, Oz Nomad, thank you for subscribing. Oh, I've got, I've got to change that. It's got to be a following. <laughs> It's a following. It's a, it's a following. following. Yeah. Um, see, you can tell, yeah, it's somebody come over from the red side. Oh, you're in Australia too, but 5.15 in Perth. I've been wow. to Perth. It was a very interesting place, Perth. What are you doing up at 5.15 a.m.? <laughs> I, I have no idea. <laughs> I tell you, at 5.15 in the morning, I am still asleep. Uh, Lee Dixon, joys of the update day. Yep, exactly that. Um, a new glitch you had with the Piper. Only way I found to swap camera to external back and the cockpit and it goes, yep. Exactly that. D do you know if it affects all Pipers or just the Warrior? Ah, you're just watching Twitch streamers on No Man. Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm probably the newest of the day because uh, this is my first stream and this is actually, uh, it's a test stream just to make sure it's all working properly. The sound's coming over, you hear the music, my mic's okay and all stuff like that. And, uh, and then I'll start doing proper, what I would call proper stuff. Um, Damn it, this man's in Singapore. 
Oh, Slim Man, Singapore for in Singapore. Ah, great place, great place. Been there many times in the past. It's a truly international screen. Yes. Uh, oh, that's interesting because my friend Sim froze a little bit and then Captain Spitfire SR22 man disappeared. So that was weird. Dougal McTamish, you're here. Actually, look, flying with the label. I don't see Bombasso anymore. Uh, Bombasso's south of us. He's dropped south of the route. Oh, yeah, he's going on what, an adventure. Which way, you, which way are you going, Bombasso? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, audio and visual are looking good. Thank you very much for that. So, um, yes. So we're, we're, we're flying over the English countryside. Uh, we're going into an airport called Wickham Park. Um, I do have this as a scenery. And um, who was that by Wickham Park? That was... Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. Uh, Pilot Plus. There we go. Uh, Pilot didn't Plus. Didn't they also do um, your one? Didn't they also do White Waltham? They did. No, that was... No, oh, blue, no, burning no. Blue. Oh, burning blue, right. burning blue. Okay, yeah. White yeah. <clears throat> Um They did Gatwick, I think. Pilot Plus. Uh, or my thinking, X Plane, Gatwick. I think that's, that's X Plane. It was X Plane, Gatwick. Yeah. There's so many add-ons now. I lose track. Yeah. I Can't forget. Wait for Big and Ill one. <laughs> that's coming do out we, soon. Do Is we it? know when that's coming out? Oh, don't know. I have no idea. Excellent, excellent. Oh, blind. oh, hello, 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 hello. It's all gone a bit quiet on the music front. Let's uh, see what we can find now. Um, let's try this. Uh, Brandon B's Viral Essentials. We'll give that a whirl. You gotta be careful. Some of these actually have uh, explicit lyrics in and stuff like that. So you know, you you try and keep your stream a bit clean, and uh, and then your music goes and ruins it. Now you tell me. <laughs> Interesting fields there, like mini airstrips in the middle of the field. Where is everybody? Oh, Dougal's still here. Oh, there's an aeroplane just north of Dougal. We are pretty tightly grouped, but servers are just not showing us. And, um... Uh, we are not very far away from Wickham Air Park, I have to say. So what we're doing with the wind, um, so that's going to be an interesting thing. Eight miles out. Uh, for you, maybe. I think I'm very much closer. And I think... <coughs> uh, we're going to be landing in on 2-4... Two four, right. I'll take I'll take the grass on the left. Thank you. Are uh, you going to say that? I knew you would. <laughs> That's why I, my, I, I hesitated. My landings, my landings need somewhere soft. So uh, the M40 is um, to our left, and that's usually where you come in over uh, Wickham Park. Um, so we'll start to head that way shortly. This is straight in, or we got to go to the back? Uh, it's not straight in, no. So we're we're uh, we're going to be coming yes, in on two four. So that would be a circle to land. Yeah, two four. This airport in front of us with the lights. 
Uh, yep. So, autopilot off. A left turn here. And um, guys, if you want to fly along next time, guys, what Peely does is opens this voice channel to anybody that's flying. So any pilots flying get to communicate on voice comms. So come along and fly next week. Because they're nice and friendly like that. Hello, why's my sim just... Ooh, uh -oh. it went a bit... It went a bit... Am I going to no, crash no, 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 or no, no, not? Come on, come back, come back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the airport's over here. It's a nice little airport. It's got a really nice cafe. So if you want to go and just do some GA spotting, uh, you can go to the cafe. I'll do a, a tour of it in the drone at, at the end. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice little place. I had, yeah, how, how do I know that? Well, because I've I've watched some videos of people actually going to the airport. I haven't actually been there myself, and it's not that far away from me. Um, it's a bit further than White Waltham, but um, here's the M4, uh, M40, sorry. So, literally, when you're on the M40 and you're driving down this road towards London, um, suddenly you see these aeroplanes come in as we do, very low over the top, because you can see the runway threshold is around here, and there's the motorway. So all of a sudden, you just suddenly see these low-flying aeroplanes. So it's all good laugh. Okay, 2,000. Let's uh, just kill a bit of speed here and just start to reduce my height. Just check my barrow. Airport's back there. Turning over the town. It's the town of High Wycombe. We have uh, one lot of flaps here. Landing lights are on. got a whole lot of uh, industrial parks at High Wycombe. I've lost sight of you. Have you are you over the railway line yet? Um, no. Nope. Nope. I've got you in my sights. I'm about to turn on to final. So we're turning on to final. Steeper turn than I anticipated there. Full flaps. Here's the airfield just coming in. Got a line of trees just ahead of us as well, so we've just got to make sure we go over the top of those. Microsoft wouldn't be Microsoft without some trees at the end of the runway. And, um, yeah, got a little bit of a crosswind, doesn't seem to be affecting us too much. He says, and then it's all getting a bit jiggly. Cold hours, seven degrees. Try not to. <laughs> Scrape the roofs of the cars of the motorway on the Oh, Well, that's really jiggly over there. Look at those trees, for goodness sake. I'll just drop it in. It's not a long runway by any means. And down. 
not quite center line, but it's good enough. Now, I don't believe there's a, <clears throat> a runoff area, so I'm just going to pull off to the left. And uh, we'll wait here. And we'll see if we can get some drone action going. Oh, excellent view. Get my drone camera sorted. There we go. And uh, we need to spin round. So Dougal's coming in on the grass runway. Oz Nomad. Ah, no. Hi, Wickham. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's a place you drive away from. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, that add-on looks very different to uh, the default, I can tell you. So, uh, the reason we see Dougal twice is because we're using JoinFS as well as... Uh, and he's now actually attempting a reverse landing there. Oh, it's my, my backwards. Yeah. 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 That was pretty nifty. This is a whole yeah, new yeah, meaning yours... to the word reverse thrust. Your screen's very different to mine. It's worth a look at that, Adam. And there it is. Like I'm towing myself. I think I need to charge my controller. It's not communicating very well. Got an airplane landed over there. Who's that? That's the SR-22, Captain Spitfire. Captain Bombasso, are you around in the air? I'm somewhere, man. The nav map, and it's just wonky everywhere, man. It's just, it's... Oh, I see you. Yeah, you're coming in sideways. I see you coming in sideways. Do you? Yeah, he's, uh, looks like he's heading for the asphalt, 2-4 right. Yeah, the um, avatar for the uh, for the plane constantly pops up in my face, so I end up yeah. having a thin glasses and yeah. So I, am I even at the right airport? I have no idea. Yeah, I see you on little nav map. I just haven't eyed you in the sim yet. Which no, is crazy. Oh, there he is. There he is. Mind the trees. Exactly. Here he comes. Oh yeah, sideways. <laughs> sideways. <laughs> this sim is just nuts. It really is. You couldn't make that. You couldn't make that up, could you? <laughs> Fantastic. If this was YouTube, I'd be saying, "Now you've got to give that a like just for a sideways landing." So what I'll do then is, if I just do a bit of a bit of auto correction, I'm going to just disconnect and reconnect join FS, and you should all end up the right way around. Yeah. There you go. You see, look at that. How you? How weird is that? Okay, let's do a bit of uh, a bit of taxiing to the um, to the airport. Go park up, and then I'll take you for a quick spin around the uh, the airport, so you can see what uh... synchronized landing—a new Olympic sport. Well, yes, yes. But, the, the, but the trick is you have, you have to do it backwards or sideways. Yeah, backwards or sideways. Oh, I should have restarted mine. I've still got Captain Spitfire going sideways in the SR22. Yeah, he's actually he's actually uh taxiing backwards on mine. Yeah, he's yeah. doing a Ryanair taxi um, like me. Really, while there's a, still a few people here in stream, did you have any more thoughts on um, a different day for next week? I just thought it might be mentioning if anybody wants to come back. Um, yeah, so um, so yes, thank you, Dougal. <laughs> so I am thinking of to uh, to not hit up with other streamers um try and pick a slot where i'm not competing for your time watching uh so uh tuesday evening at seven o'clock uh will 
most definitely be a time that I will look at for next week. So I will put that on my schedule. At the moment, it does say Thursday, but um, uh, I will I will definitely move that to um, BST. Are, are we, no, in fact, uh, well, the clocks have changed next week. Uh, uh, what's next week? Clocks, clocks change. What day do the clocks change? I think it says Zulu should be okay. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. Let's, let's just pop in here at number 30. Oh, actually, I'll go a bit longer bit so the people behind can pick a slot. Let me just... We've got we've got default scenery, I should think, so it's different for us anyway. Yes. I'll just go up here. And I'll just go in front of the petrol pump. So, there you go, number 15. And let's just go inside and we'll just turn off the engine. How much fuel did we end up with? Uh, oh, down to half tank, so that's all right. And uh, we'll just kill the mixture there. And um, yes, let's do a quick tour of this, this here airport. And um, we'll just do one of those and I'll start that one for a quick tour of this airport. I'll turn that off and we'll go to insert mode. Have you had time to work out how to use the RAID feature, by the way? Uh, yes. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I see Joel started up. Lights with Joel has started screaming. So let's have a look. So uh, it's a nice airport. It's um, really quite well done. Yeah, it looks it. And if you go towards the tower, I'm going to slow my drone down a little bit. Hang on a minute. I should really. I've got a way of speeding up, but I haven't got a way of slowing it down. So let's just change that down to uh, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there very very different to default and uh, we've got a nice tower which I think you can go inside there we go got some old kit here water cooler a nice TV for watching sports that is old kit look at that TV <laughs> Um, air traffic control done by a radar on a laptop or two. Uh, I've got a oh, sorry, aviation law meteorology document here. Excellent. I like the way the glass is tinted when you look out. That's cool. And outside, it was overhead in the Savage. You online. And uh, here we've got EEA, Training, Engineering, Maintenance, Utilities and Charter. Welcome to Wickham, Wickham Air Park, or Booker as it's called. There's the Approach Plate Cafe, which is really nice. We know how much this is, Pearly. Um, bum, 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 bum. It's got to no. be worth a look at. No. I, I, don't, I, I don't think it was very much, because Pilot Plus don't really charge too much for what you get. Look, we've even got gliders. Yeah, that's sweet. That's nice. Gliders. Very nice. Look at that. Something I used to fly when I was in my late teens and early 20s. And uh, I got I racked up about well, thirty-five hours of flying gliders. And um, over here, this is the 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 cafe. Got a little balcony. In there. Actually, has they got anything inside? I can't remember. Um, Oz Nomad just spotted your last post. Sadly, with this simulator, it's actually not as rare as you'd think. Um, 
What's not as rare? I, I, I missed something. He, he said, rare to see two oh, mating aircraft in the wild. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, I, I, I'm quite busy sort of panning around this airport. Um, so we've got um, Heli Air. So we've got helicopters here. It explains the helicopter on the uh, ramp out there. And then we've got all these vehicles and things here, which is like a little truck dumping ground by the looks of it. God. And look at these old telegraph poles and stuff like that. It's great. They've put a lot of detail in there. They have. Yeah. I mean, is this a recycling place? And, you know, for anybody not in the UK, that really is very representative. Oh, it's Serco, look. It's a recycling place. And what we got over here? Hello, I just heard something in my stream. Did I just get something coming in? Uh, yeah, you fly guy just followed. Fly guy. <laughs> ah, what, fly time guy. Do, what time do you call this, fly guy? Late to the party again. I'll have to turn out the noise of that. Um, so we've got Wickham Squash and Racquetball Club in this little building here. I've got to go inside now and see if there's actually any courts inside. Hey, everybody. Uh, hey, no how's it going, buddy? Hello. Hello there. I'm late again. <laughs> <laughs> Even I was late today, Fly Guy. Yeah, I've been really busy lately. Look at that. The detail, look, they've even got like Wickham Air Park and they got the little map of what's... Wow, that's definitely, it's a very high quality scene, right? Yeah, this, it is. It's, I'm really, really impressed with this. Look I haven't that. seen anything in it yet that I don't like. I think this is the actual uh, where you come in and, uh, and register this place over here. In that building there. And uh, what else have we got? What else have we got over here? So much to explore. So this is the Booker Gliding Club building. Just in there. Now, they've even got messages on the doors and stuff like that. Look. Is it privately owned now, this field? I think so. And you've got reception over here. Zoom in over here. So we've got helicopter services. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, look, look how clear the writing is on these signs. Obviously a bit old because they're looking a bit grubby. This is reminiscent of a, of a Jefferson type scenery. It you is, know, This it? kind of detail I, I would expect from Jefferson. I've, I've not seen it elsewhere. Booker Aviation Conference and sem Seminar Room. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. How's the uh, performance impact with the scenery? Um, well, hard to say because I'm streaming at the moment, but I'm uh, not great. Yeah, I could imagine. <laughs> um, but it's just so much to see. Well, look at the detail they go into inside the. Inside the hangars as well. I mean, the aeroplanes in there. I wonder if we can barnstorm there, man. That'd be awesome. I have to say, if you're a good stunt pilot, that would be an awesome hangar to fly a uh, <laughs> extra 330 through. Well, someone's someone's flying around in a Savage at the moment. Oh, yeah, there. he's been overhead for a while. He'd be able to land in that hangar. I bet you'll probably be able to get um, a helicopter through it. Easy. And then we got, uh, what's that? Is that a 145 or 135? I forget now. Looks like a 135 to me. Yeah. 
It's cool. Very cool. I don't know if they actually put any of these buildings in around the outside as well. But, um, yeah, Pilot Plus. Um, so Pilot Plus, this is available on... Is it available on all good bits? Uh, sure it is. Yeah, we can make part. Uh, obviously, because I've got it installed, I can't actually tell you how much it is. No, that's one of the downsides of um, of Orbex is you've got to actually go into the thing to have a look. Yeah, I mean, let's go to their let's go to their website. Um, I could see this being a twenty dollar or twenty euro scenery somewhere along those lines. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't left. Um, let me just have a quick look. Planet Plus and ninety nine. You know, it would definitely be worth whatever you paid for it. Say that again, Spitfire. Wow. Really? Really good. Whoops, that I might have to pick that up. In US dollars, probably. Yeah, I'd say probably 12 US dollars. Yeah. Somewhere around there. it would be a bit more than. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the rate is, but it might be much more. That's really, really good. Mm. Yeah, so uh, 1099. They do uh, London South End as well. London Oxford, which I have. We should have flown in there, actually, when we passed it. Um, oh, wow. It's 15 US dollars. And uh, Bristol International. They also do um, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So Bristol International, London Oxford, London South End, which I think I'm I've told, got. I'm told Bristol is very good. Yeah, I have the South End scenery. It's great. Yeah, I've got the South End, and that's great. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Just some... Uh, just a fantastic scenery. So, um, guys, this is the end. And what an evening it has been. So, uh, thank you very much, all the people in chat. <laughs> I've just seen a message from from Osnomad. Hang on, just yeah. need to go and use that portal. <laughs> I didn't see the portal. Why did I not see the portal? There were a few, I think. Oh dear. Fantastic. I probably need to turn my lights off now. Yeah, I think I've got a flat battery on mine now. So, um, so guys, thank you very much for joining this very first stream on Twitch. It's been uh, a pleasure to have you here. Um, next week will be a Tuesday evening. Um, and I was just going to check, actually, uh, very quickly. When do our clocks go back? It's the week after, isn't it? Uh, so, last weekend in October. Yeah, if it's in sync. So it's not this weekend, it's the next weekend. So I'd imagine it's the last weekend of October. Yeah. So it will be at 1800 Zulu or 7 p.m. local time in the UK if you want to come back and um, join us. And, um, you know, it's a group flight, so come along. As long as the servers are working, <clears throat> then uh, come fly along with us. Uh, I don't really know where we're going to go yet, um, so I'll, I'll plan that over the weekend. So, Osnomad, um, you've been sitting here for two hours. Fantastic. Uh, hopefully it's two hours of good entertainment. And uh, Fly Guy, good to see you. Captain Spitfire, it's thanks for joining. You. And Dougal McTavish, thank you very much. Bumbasso coming in late at the end there, managing to get a good landing out of your sideways plane. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it, man. Excellent stuff. Who else have we got in chat? Uh, Slimman821, thank you very much for joining the stream. Uh, Lee Dixon, good to see you too, and all the guys that came over from Two Cats. Two Cats, I'm not sure if you're still in the stream, but uh, thanks for that, and a very good night to you all, and I will see you next time.
Well, that was all right, wasn't it? Excellent. Are we off? Are we off oh, screen? Yeah. Yes, you are. Awesome. Oh, brilliant, so. brilliant for a I first time. So. Twitch is nice. Yeah. How was the uh, stream? Were there any buffering issues or anything like that? I didn't... Are you still audio is still coming through on the stream? Is it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, gremlins! Gremlins! Buttons. 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 Uh, chat. Why is that coming through? 